Wrong button. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Clown Live! This is an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. What up, though? I'm your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. You can call me whatever you like. But today, we got the same thing that we were doing yesterday. We're talking about some awesome Amazon products that you can own. We've got some on deals. We've got some not on deals. We've got some product pages to take a look at in today's show and i'm so stoked to be here to be spending some time with y'all and t doing that i love amazon i love amazon live and i love talking deals with you guys here on clown live so what up though how's everybody doing i see tech girl bargains in the chat what up go ahead and put your link in the chat anytime when you see there's more people or less people feel free to put your channel link in the chat okay because uh um, excuse me, uh, Tech Girl Bargains is Becky1970. She started streaming. Uh, I caught her first stream, I believe, last night. It was really great. She did an awesome job. So definitely today, please feel free to promote your channel uh, freely in the chat so that we can get as many new followers as we can on your new endeavor. Okay, and welcome to Amazon Live. Uh, I was telling you, I'm new too, so uh, it's really fun. I hope that you have as good of a time streaming on Amazon as I do, okay? Also, we got Rover in the chat. What up, Rover? Thanks for hanging out today. Uh, I'm sure you're going to play moderator for us. So uh, we got 14 people joining. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining the chat today and watching the show. This is Clown Live, like I was just saying. And uh, yeah, I'm also telling you that Rover is our resident moderator and is going to be helping us with the roll call today and... Um, and taking care of the $5 Amazon gift card that we're going to be giving away on today's show. <clears throat> Pardon me. So to get entered into that gift card giveaway, head over to shoppingdragons.com. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Head over to shoppingdragons.com slash win now and enter your email information and help us uh, with our social media reach by doing the other entries that are on the form. Then come back here and join us for a clown race, okay? We're going to have a fun little race at the end of the show uh, that you can enter here by doing a roll call that our moderator, USS Rover, is handling for us today, as Rover does every day. Thank you, Rover, again for doing that. It's really, really helps save a lot of time, I think, at the end of the show. So I appreciate you greatly with that assistance. Also, uh, Tech Girl Bargains, nice blue check mark you got there. It looks real official, real legit. You got it popping. 
Um, okay, so with that, uh, we talked about the $5 Amazon gift card giveaway. I also want to tell you about a couple other giveaways that are happening in real time right now, and that is the shoppingdragons.com. Uh, this is the Shopping Dragons channel on Amazon, and we are giving away a $100 Amazon gift card or $100 PayPal cash payout, whatever you prefer. If you win, you get the choice. Okay. And that's happening now. It started on January 1st. We're going to run it for the month and uh, you can enter that by heading to shoppingdragons.com slash win 100. Okay. So that's there. That's available to do. Also, um, parent channel. I don't know what you call it. It's all the same. We're all the same. Dragon blogger, Justin at dragon blogger is hosting a Steam Deck giveaway in collaboration with Vast.gg. So that is another great opportunity to win an awesome prize um, or straight up cash from Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, okay, and Shopping Dragons. Um, all the links for all of those giveaways, Rover has already posted once in the chat and will be posting throughout the stream. So if you missed the link, there all the links for what I'm talking about are, are shooting by at a rapid pace right here. I know it's hard to read, but they're right here. Also, uh, Rover's putting them in the chat, like I said. And uh, yeah, it just seems to be the two of you talking in the chat right now. So what up to you two again, Rover and uh, and uh, Tech Girl Bargains. Is it okay if I call you Becky uh, or do you be? would you like to be referred to as your username? Let me know and uh, I'd like to do that for you. Uh, Seventh Plague is in the chat. Hello. Thank you for joining us today. What's up, Randy Dresden? It's good to see a familiar face in the chat. Thanks for joining and uh, one other thing that I neglect to mention earlier about our $5 Amazon gift card giveaway today is that if you've already entered the form, you don't need to enter it again. But if you're new here, definitely hit the follow button and head over to shoppingdragons.com slash win and enter for a chance to get that $5 Amazon gift card live on this show near the end of the show. Probably after all the products realistically is the right time to do it. <clears throat> I didn't do a lot of talking today. I feel like I got to drink a lot of water and warm my voice up. So let's talk a little bit more uh, about whatever until we start talking about products, okay? I want my voice to warm up just a little bit. Maybe I should start talking to myself before I go live. But I feel good. Everything's great. Um, what's up, Nelson? Thanks for joining the show today. Appreciate you coming out. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just warming up these vocal cords, okay? I got to I got to get them warmed up. I feel it like a little tight in the top of my throat. So, uh yeah, beyond my tight throat, okay? Uh, everything else is great. We uh we uh made a huge dinner for breakfast today so that we had some uh pre-prep. We've been eating too late in the night. Mima comes home from work. <clears throat> Mima comes home from work at like 10:30 at night. It's like five o'clock now. And Mima will come home at around 10.30. And um, dinner's not always made. And then uh, sometimes Mima likes to make things from scratch that I don't want to even touch. You know what I'm saying? I'll just, she likes things a certain way and I don't necessarily do them a certain way, you know. So she likes to take over uh, making big dinners all the time. And so she gets home at 1030 and then like sometimes we don't eat until like midnight. And so and then we stay up until like 130, maybe two o'clock as Mima works afternoons. Right. So it's not too late to go to bed. It's just uh, late at night when we eat. So uh, we made we tried making a bigger meal today so that we could have something uh, that was already prepared when 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 she got home tonight. And uh, yeah, we've been having bad sleep. I've been waking up every hour. Uh, not getting good sleep and then like coming out into the living room in the middle of the night and and like not experiencing heartburn but just a lot of restlessness and like sitting in the reclining chair or reclining here on the couch it's the same thing and uh, and like sleeping in the couch in a more upright position I don't know I don't know excuse me but yeah so we're trying that out and uh, that's good so uh, what's up, Kmart Kelly? Thanks for coming and hanging out with us today. What's up, Evans? Also, thank you for joining us. How have you guys been the last 24 hours? I was just describing that things are pretty well, but I haven't been getting very good sleep. Uh, I've been pretty restless, and I think it's because I'm eating too late at night. 
<clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it with me. I mean, like we get to hang out every day and uh, usually before the show, I'm just hanging out a little bit. I like to, uh, I like to um, really enjoy my free time. You know what I mean? To the maximum, a bit to my maximum ability. And uh, yeah, so we were hanging out. Usually I start setting up the show here around three 30, make sure everything's good. We set up all the, ca- I set up all the cameras and the desks. Um, excuse me, set up all the lights and the camera and the, and the laptop and everything. So, uh, you know, I usually take about an hour, maybe an hour and a half to set up before every show and then maybe take like a little bit less time to tear down. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm just, uh, free thinking while I warm my voice up. I think I'm feeling pretty good now. I got my engine revved up. And I think I'm ready to talk about products. So, uh, yeah, we definitely did cover all the gift card stuff. And again, if you're unfamiliar, it's definitely scrolling here at the bottom of the page. So be certain to get entered into our giveaways if you haven't already. And uh, if you have entered some of our giveaways, go check again because they usually have some form of daily entry. Not always, but some of them do. <clears throat> okay, let's talk about the first product in our carousel today. And that's going to be the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. This is an awesome Bluetooth speaker that's made by Anchor. And uh, I got the box right here, and I got the radio. Uh, this thing's awesome. Let me show you the box real quick. This is the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. It features 80 watts of power with a customizable EQ that you can um, you can customize yourself by downloading the app in the App Store for free. Also, the, the drivers on the speakers, I'm going to show you them in a second, they're, dual, they're made of titanium with pure silk dome drivers and offer 20 hours of playback uh, with this device. Now, what's great also about the Motion Boom Plus, it's right here, is that it not only does it have this the titanium drivers, uh, but it also has these passive bass radiating speakers, which are really awesome because they give the Motion Boom Plus a little extra punch. Uh and you can toggle that with the base button feature, but it just like reduces power to the front drivers, which moves less air for the passive base radiators. Uh, there's no power to these. That's why they're passive, right? Um, when you pull this out of the box, it just works. You pull it out of the box, you turn it on, it instantly goes into Bluetooth pairing mode. See what it pairs with. It paired with something, was it this? Yes, sweet. So uh, really, really loud. It's a really loud speaker at 80 watts. Super loud. I'm going to turn it up. So that's not even full. It's almost full. You can see. Look, let me come up to the microphone, okay? I want to come up there. Look. Oh, my, I, hit my, I hit my button. Hey, oh, my name is Mark Ruff. Oh, wrong buttons. Oh, gosh darn it. I was trying to hold my speaker up and I held my phone in my hand and pressed the wrong button. But I, what I wanted to show you was the travel of the, uh, of the um, passive bass radiator. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again right now. So uh, it's already loud. Here we go. Look, I want you to see it. I mean, that's a lot. That move, That's moving a lot of air. That's moving a lot of air. That's all I'm saying. So, uh, yeah, it has the passive bass radiated speakers that give it an extra punch. It comes with this really nice strap uh, that is monogrammed with the Soundcore logo on it. And, uh, yeah, the strap is great for hands-free. You can have that handle that is, like, uh, the whole – it's it's part of the radio. Like it's uh, it's part of the form, right? It's not just like some screwed on handle. It's part of the form. So it's really, really securely attached to the device because it is a part of the device. And another great feature about the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is that it's IP67 weather resistant and buoyant. So if you have this poolside or at the beach and it gets splashed by a wave or knocked into the pool, this is going to float. It's not going to float away. It's not going to sink, which is a, a great, great thing. Um, I love that about sound, um, I love that feature about these Soundcore products that they're so buoyant. It's the um, the Motion Boom Plus isn't the only buoyant speaker that a Soundcore offers, and I just think that's really great. Okay, in conclusion, on the back of the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, 
there is a rubber gasket right at the bottom center here. And behind it is going to be a USB-C port for charging the device, uh, the, 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 the Motion Boom Plus, as well as a regular USB-C port for charging out. So you can charge your phone or your MP3 player, whatever you need um, to keep the party going a little bit longer. And not only does it just have the Bluetooth connection, but behind that gasket, there's a three and a half millimeter input jack. So you can hardline an audio source to this device. You can crank this and it stays clear. Those titanium drivers with silk domes uh, smash audio with crystal clarity. I like this a lot. It's really light um, and buoyant, like I was saying before. Today, the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is available for $179.99. Okay, let's stop this music. Oh, no, no, no. We don't put this under the table. We're not done with it yet. Oh, careful, buddy. And I still, I've used it a lot less. Honestly, I've used it a lot less recently. But even still, the amount that I've used it, I've still only put one charge in it since I've got it, since I started showing it on the show, like in October or maybe November. So it really holds a great charge uh, if you're just using it moderately. But again, up to like uh, 20 hours of playback at the appropriate settings. <clears throat> What's up, Robin Luker? What's up, Alexander uh, Alexander Lima? Thanks for following. Don't forget to get entered into our gift card giveaway today. What's up, Stargazer? One minute ago. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with us today. Oh, I see that you're feeling slightly better. Are you eating two-day-old leftover steak today? Is that anything that's on the menu? I hope you've been able to eat some food and try to maintain your health in a more positive manner, okay? I know you haven't been feeling good, Stargazer, and I hope that you can feel better soon, okay? Uh, and with that, let's keep the show going, though, okay, and talk about the vacuum uh, while Stargazer tells us how she's feeling, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to leave the box at the back of the room today and talk about the device. This is the uh, Eufy by Anchor H30 uh home vac and this weighs less than two pounds and has 20 minutes of runtime on a single battery charge and batteries are easy to remove and and put back in so if you have an additional battery you can keep cleaning uh if you need to now to charge this we just take the device and put it into the base and the base is weighted so when it sits on a solid surface you can be confident that it's not gonna tip now, let me remove this because I'm holding the base and that's not a sturdy surface and show you that on the back of the base, you can screw mount it to a wall. Not only is the base weighted, but it does offer good cable management when you need to charge, uh, when you plug your charging uh, AC adapter into this port right here. So a really good base. It has uh, little holders on the side for the accessories, which are the extension brush. And this extension brush is pretty cool because not only is it the extension with the uh, with the soft bristle on it but when you press the red button you can retract the bristle and then expose the hard tip okay so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool that you can pull it back and expose the tip and it's really great and if you want you can pull the tip right off and you can have any option that you please uh with the uv h30 home vac now another awesome feature beyond the wand attachment is that it has a power head attachment and this roller i'm just going to turn this on real quick the roller does move see the roller moves this offers an eco mode and a max mode and when you unplug the power head you can pull off the dust canister which we're not going to do today because i do have dust in my in my canister okay you can see it there kind of piled up around the filter but what's great about this is you just press one button where my thumb is located and pull and this comes off easy the dust canister pulls right off has a nice guiding track this black plastic on the bottom uh guides your canister right back on and there's a really cool filter in here that is a traditional mini like vacuum filter but also 
uh, also it's uh, sh it's got like a metal shroud on it, which is uh, water soluble. So you or, or it, like you can wash it. I don't know if soluble means it will disintegrate into the water. I think it does. It's not water soluble. You can wash it with water, which is really cool to keep it extra clean. Now, I own this for a while and I used it for a couple weeks and I was keeping the dust uh, collector clean. And then I was getting some errors with this where it was like revving and then stopping and it had no suction. And then I realized that you can pull out the little paper filter from the canister that it's in, that washable filter. And there was a whole thick layer of dust that I didn't even understand would collect there. So now I fully understand how it's washable and it's pretty convenient, pretty convenient. It's got an easy to put, uh, easy to put in your base, uh, less than two pounds. This helps me reach where I need to get like cobwebs and stuff out of the corners. I don't have cobwebs anymore because I have the anchor home back H30. Okay. And today this uh, handheld vacuum is available for $179.99. I'm thinking about about ordered celery and cream cheese. I'll tell you this, okay? I'm not a cream cheese fan, whether I'm sick or well, but it's uh, it's a texture thing. I will eat some cream cheese, but probably like the cream cheese like cakes, right? Like a like a cheesecake. That's the same thing, isn't it? Just with a lot more sugar. That's okay. I'm not a big fan of like the texture of pudding, but I like the texture. I will eat a little bit of cottage cheese. I don't mind the texture of cottage cheese. I don't like the I don't like the texture of sour cream. It's got to be like an extremely unique situation. I'm not like disgusted by it. I just know what I like and what I don't like, and I don't like the texture of or necessarily the taste of sour cream. Uh, and I love like traditional like Mexican food. And anytime we go to like uh, a restaurant or make it at home, it's always like pass on that sour cream for me. Like I'll get the whole order. And then I'm always like, if there's anything that has sour cream on it, I just, I don't want it. I don't want it. Not on my fries supreme, not in my burritos, nothing, nothing like that, please. So I don't know. It's like a, it's, I don't know, but I like, uh, I like melted chocolate. You know what I mean? Like I put like a chocolate in my mouth and let it melt in my mouth. I don't mind that type of creamy. So, and I don't think it's a sweet sour thing. I don't think it's a texture thing for me. Uh, I don't have a problem with the taste of sour cream. It's really just a texture thing. Um, yeah. So I'm really strange with that when it comes to cream cheese, maybe I'll eat like a cheesecake, but like if I'm putting like a, a cream cheese on my bagel, and people are like, oh, I love it when you put so much cream cheese on the bagel that it fills the hole. And then you get a big bite of cream cheese right in the middle of your breakfast bagel. I'm like, miss me with that. Okay. Miss me with all of that. Ugh, I don't want a big bite of cream cheese. You know what I get on my bagel when I go to the place where I get my bagels? I get a whole wheat bagel or an everything bagel. I ask them to toast it with a, with butter and a slice of mozzarella cheese and maybe like like two slices of like the cheap bacon that they put on their breakfast sandwiches. Not even like real bacon, you know what I'm saying? And then I just eat a dry, like a dry whole wheat or everything bagel with a little bit of, with, I like butter on it, but like not a little bit of butter, but not like a dollop of cream cheese butter. You miss me with that. Oh man, I don't even like thinking of it. And it just sits there in the sandwich. And then you like eat around it and then the whole dollop falls out on, Dude, honestly, I hope that you feel better, Stargazer. I'm going to stop talking about cream cheese now. And I'm going to drink some water and, like, just try to focus on the next thing. That sounds good. Bacon on a bagel. It's Yeah, I like the – I like the um, um, like I said, I like the whole wheat bagel or the everything bagel. I like it toasted with a slice of processed mozzarella cheese on it from the place, you know. Uh, cause not all the mozzas is the same and, uh, yeah, like fake bacon. If I made it at home with like fresh cheese or like delicious mozzarella cheese and like full size bacon cut or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like not fast food bacon. It just, it wouldn't have the same, it might have, a, obviously it's going to have a different flavor 
but there's just something about going to the spot and getting it that makes it like a whole thing. So uh, there's more, there's more behind it than just good ingredients, I suppose. Okay, now that you got me all grossed out about cream cheese, let's talk about the pluggable USB 250-time uh, digital microscope. I've got that right here. It's sitting right here on the chair. But as always, I forgot to grab something to look at up close. What do I got to look at up close today? Let me go find something real quick here. Oh, look, Justin gave me this thing. Let's put this thing up Justin gave me today. I'll be right back. Eh? I'm going to go find something to look at up close. So we don't have any knives or anything in the show today. So let me... Uh... So let me clear my throat. I got a ballpoint pen again. And let me find a coin. Oh, I got some coins. Here. I got this one and this one. Should I show my credit card? I got a credit card we can look at. Okay, I'm coming back. Here I come. <coughs> hey, did you like that? That's Thanks, Justin, for the BRB uh, overlay. Appreciate you in a major way. Uh, thank you again. I appreciate that. Okay, look, I got a pen and I got some quarters. So we're going to look at some coins and a ballpoint pen again today on the show. But yo, check it out. This is the pluggable USB 250 time microscope, uh, digital microscope. What's awesome about this is that it comes on a gooseneck so you can position it. Excuse me again, man. Oh, man. You can position it in any position that you want. Uh, and this, the suction cup that attaches it to the base as well as the gooseneck are connected by a quarter inch like tripod screw here and at the end of the gooseneck. So you can remove the, the, uh, the microscope from the mount and put it on anything you want. You don't have to use necessarily what's included, although it is, it is helpful at best. Okay. Now on the pluggable, there's going to be uh, a camera button on the very top. That is not even a physical button. You just tap it. And it'll save a picture to wherever you have your presets set to save pictures to. Uh, it has a it has a dial on the top that allow that allows you to adjust the brightness of the LEDs that are uh, in this ring around the around the camera sensor, and that's pretty cool uh, because you know the more light on an image, the better. Okay. <clears throat> especially when wanting to view it up close, uh, you can really get some detail. So it's great that pluggable offered to uh, thought of, excuse me, putting that LED ring uh, in it. Okay. Now also it has this manual focus knob and there's no automatic focus and there's no like zoom or anything with this when, um, sorry, I just want to make sure I got it screwed on the right way. There we go. <clears throat> sorry about that. Just got my tangled cables here. Okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, so it has a uh, a manual focus knob, and there's no zoom, and there's no autofocus. You have to do if you want to move the the micro. Excuse me, I keep stammering because I keep wanting to say microscope, uh, microphone. Jeez, Louise. But I know we're talking about the digital microscope, and I'm just telling you that there's no zoom and no autofocus, okay? So if you want to move it closer, you have to you have to move it closer. And if you want to focus on a different part of your specimen, then you have to uh, manually adjust the focus, okay? So this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. It comes with the plate. It comes with the microphone. It comes with, uh, with the microscope. It comes with the stand. Man, my brain today. Okay, let's set this down on the table here, and then let's switch over to uh, a preview of the microscope. We got the microscope here in real time. Let's do that real quick. That should be this. Yes, awesome. And then just check my audio is still the Yeti. Yes, excellent. Okay, so look, we're mad blurry right now, and everything's a blur like you're living in uh, Duckburg. But yo, okay, check this out. Um, I got a Canadian quarter. Let's throw this Canadian quarter down. Look, you can see the tip of my finger, super blurry. We're totally out of focus. The LED light is way dark. Let's crank up the LED brightness by turning it up uh, at that knob. Um, uh, it's not a knob. It's a, I don't know. I don't know. I call it, I always call them potentiometers, but the brightness control, the brightness control. Anyway, so look, we can push this down. Like I'm pushing, I want to get really close to the quarter and I'm practically on top of it. I'd say I'm about a half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch away. 
And yeah, we're zooming like 250 times now. Still blurry, still extremely blurry. Uh, I'm just trying to make it like as best as I can. There, that might be good. Uh, yeah, and now manipulating the quarter with my fingers, still blurry. We can zoom it. We can focus manually on different aspects of the coin. So we can really, really see. Even, even still then, I would say a touch blurry. There we go. Yeah, yes. Now, every time it shakes, it's me making an adjustment to the the uh, the uh, manual focus. But that's just because I have it on this, like, gooseneck. You can mount this to anything you want. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. You can see the detail in the coins. And now you don't have to use this just for coins. You can use this for anything. You can use it to look at gems. You can use it to look at um you know soldering joints if you need to see something like in great detail then the pluggable usb 250 time digital microscope is really really great now what's cool about the coins is they're flat coins and we could just look at them and see the coins flat but i do want to show one more quick demo of coins and uh um yeah, this is another uh, 25 cent piece, American 25 cent piece. And uh, yeah, like look at the great detail in the coin. You know, I think that's pretty cool. Even for just being like run of the mill stamped coins, still good detail, I think. And uh, yeah, so one final thing that I want to show you with this is just the head of a pen. And uh, yeah, so we can see like, okay, let's go like this. Pen's rolling all over the desk, that's all. So we can see the pen, it's slightly out of focus. But we can also focus very well on the pen head. And that can't be but two or three millimeters, the tip of this pen, from the plate that's underneath it. And the plate is completely out of, out of focus while the pen is in great detail focus. And uh, we can do that the other way too, right? So really, a really, and I'm barely touching the focus knob here, and that's how sensitive it is. So a really great, great uh, digital microscope for looking at things that uh, you just can't see with the naked eye. Let's switch back to the Obsbot camera. I don't understand that warning. Uh, I got a warning that I never got before on my on my PC. Give me a quick moment here just to ensure that everything is functioning. And uh, yeah, okay. So let's also do the thing where we switch our cameras back because I forgot when we do the pluggable demo and jump back to the OBSBOT, we get a uh, we get a um, a weird cutback. Like the camera cuts back to four three, and now we're back in a sixteen nine frame mode. Uh, just slipped my mind that. Okay, so the pluggable USB two hundred and fifty time digital microscope up is available today for thirty nine ninety five, and that's on deal. That's on deal. It's thirty three percent off. It's regular. It's regular sixty bucks today. It's forty bucks. And uh, yeah, seventh play, the quality of that microscope is awesome. And if you, and this doesn't go down to the cell structure. Like I said, this is just fixed at um, 250 times zoom, right? Uh, so if you click through the carousel and check out, and uh, you can learn more, I mean, to say uh, at the pluggable store, <clears throat> uh, I'm certain that they have pluggable USB microscopes that offer even more zooming capability if you require as such. But I mean, like at 250 times uh, here, let me try to show you this real quick. When I was showing the head of the pen, I don't want to alter this too much. When I was showing the head of the pen, that's how far away I had the head of the pen under the microscope. Right. And that's how that's how much we were focusing between the head of the pen and the plate. So yeah, really, really great detail with the 250 time digital zoom pluggable microscope. Let me get that out of the way, clean up my work area here a little bit. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next product though. I don't think there's any other questions about it. Yes, 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 yes. Hey Margaret, what's up? I know that was three minutes ago. Cool shopper, hello. Jennifer Lude, hello. Thank you for joining five minutes ago. I appreciate you coming out. What's up, Alyssa? If I didn't say hi earlier, 
and uh, anybody else that I may have missed. Maybe I missed Bart. Hello, Bart, to you as well. Thank you for joining the show with us today. Uh, we were just talking about the pluggable microscope. And we're going to keep it going with our little pluggable block here on the show. And we're going to talk next about this. This is a really fast device to talk about. Um, I need to get some new HDMI cables so that I can really test out some new stuff here that I've got in the house. Uh, I honestly don't have good HDMI cables. I plugged my laptop into my television and, uh, oh, I couldn't see the chat on the TV. Uh, I plugged my laptop into my television with a long HDMI cable that I have and the signal kept flashing. And so I don't have good HDMI cables. I've got to get like a whole new kit for all these products that I've been getting so that I can test them out and give really uh, honest reviews about how I feel about them. But, okay, with that mouthful of marbles out of the way, there we go. With that mouthful of marbles out of the way, I am really excited to talk to you about this product because it seems really cool, and I can't wait to plug it in and check it out. This is the, oh, okay, pluggable USB 3.0 USB-C and USB-C. This is the pluggable USB 3 and USB-C to dual HDMI out device. This seems like a total game changer. Like, probably not for gaming or anything, but if you just need to, like, maybe watch one good video in 4K and have, like, a second screen open in 1080p, then this pluggable device can work for you. It does have that USB tip on it as well as a USB-C dongle included. And it's really easy to put it on. And I love that it's like permanently attached. I mean, you could cut it off if you want to, but then you, you lose the little dongle. So I'm down with pluggable, you know what I'm saying? For making it easy to hold that dongle on at all times. Now, this is the box. It's smaller than the palm of my hand. I can't even I can't even use four fingers to barely hold it. And it has two HDMI ports on it. One of them, whichever, <laughs> listen, this thing has two HDMI ports. One is HDMI port one. One is HDMI port two. They are not labeled on this device. I'm sure maybe in the instruction manual they could be, but clearly on the device they are not labeled. But like I said, uh, it offers one 4K output on, on HDMI port one, and it offers a 1080p output on HDMI port two. So you can have your regular monitor plugged into this and then have two other monitors running some like maybe some Discord or some Reddit or some simple YouTube videos on one thing and maybe playing like a great video on your TV on the other thing. Uh, this seems ultra cool. I can't wait to get some compatible uh hdmi cables which is pretty much a, any hdmi cable i just don't have any long ones so uh yeah I'm, i can't wait to try this out and show it to you more but it is available today for 59 dollars, and that's nine percent off of its 64 dollar and 99 cent msrp and uh yeah that's the pluggable usb 3.0 to us uh, excuse me the pluggable usb 3.0 and USB C to dual hdmi adapter yeah, this seems really cool, like a really small device that you can just pop in, grab a couple extra screens. Oh, look, it does have tiny little rubber booties on the bottom, so uh, it does want to sit and stay in place. Really sweet. This looks really cool. I can't wait to use this. Okay, next on the pluggable train is going to be these two bad boys, so I'll just grab them both. <laughs> we'll talk about the Bluetooth one next, and then we'll talk about the uh, the, the, the other one. Okay. So this is going to be the pluggable Bluetooth 5 adapter. And what's great about the pluggable Bluetooth 5 adapter is that it supports uh, Bluetooth Classic and Bluetooth Low Energy. And when used with Bluetooth 5 devices, the range of this adapter can reach up to 40 meters indoors compared to the 10 meter range of previous Bluetooth standards. So that's really good. You know, um, 10 meters is only like 30 feet not that far so to quadruple that amount is pretty sweet i think uh what's that about 100 feet maybe a little more uh converting feet to meters but this is the device very simple very very usb very bluetooth okay it's got the pluggable logo on it and it's got a bluetooth logo on it as well and uh yeah this little boy comes in this big box and uh, be careful when you pull it out because it ain't secure in the package. It will pop out of the casing that it comes in. Okay, so that's that. Let me plug it back into my dual monitor dock here and tell you that this Bluetooth 5 adapter is available today for $12.95. Now, let's keep it moving and talk about this pluggable 
uh, USB 3.0 dual monitor docking station. This thing also seems like a game changer that I can't wait to try out. I'm looking still at standing desks, and I'm thinking that I'm going to make a decision pretty soon. Okay, pretty soon I think I'm going to make a decision, and uh, I'm going to pull the trigger and, and, and get it off my list. Oh, I need more water. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, so uh, and when I get that new standing desk with the wheels and make this whole portable base station that uh, like workstation, a battle station, whatever that I keep seeing in my head, I really believe that this pluggable USB 3.0 docking station is going to be an absolute game changer for what I even had planned. The pluggable USB 3.0 dual monitor docking station is so dope because it has a single cable that runs from this docking station to a USB 3.0 port on your computer or like on your laptop. It's a docking station, so I'm going to use it with the laptop, right? So, uh, yeah, and what do you get through this proprietary USB port is you're going to be able to support a DVI out and an HDMI out as well as Ethernet and uh, you get four USB 2.0 ports on the back. So you get all this IO on the back. And with the DVI port, it, it includes a DVI to VGA reducer. And it, re and it also includes a DVI to HDMI adapter as well. So you can run dual HDMI monitor off of this, which is really great. So also on the front of this, it has two USB 3.0 ports, a headphone port, and a microphone in port. So that is... The whole kit and the caboodle in a nice little desktop package, and uh, it's uh, it's going to be pretty sweet. It's going to be pretty sweet. When I got this just sitting on the side, and I want to pull the laptop away, all my I oh look, what do I got? What okay? Let's see. I got a I got Cat five, two USBs, and a USB C. Okay, so on this I don't have a USB C port. So there's no USB C port on this, but there are USB 3.0 ports on the front. So you can you can get um like a little adapter like is included with our pluggable uh USB C to dual HDMI product that we were just looking at a few moments ago. This is really cool. I can't wait to plug this in and figure out how I can use it to great advantage. But just honestly, just the idea that I can have all my IO off to the side uh, and have all this space open on the laptop, all I would need is one USB cable and just the power. And even still then, just technically speaking, for a, an, a, an amount of time, I don't even need the power cable. So I have my entire workstation with the laptop running off one cable. That seems ultra fresh, you know. Uh, I think I might be beating the point, but... I can't get over how cool that is. And it's a proprietary cable that is included in the box when you get it. The pluggable USB 3.0 dual monitor docking station, okay? It's available today for $119, and that's on deal. It's 28% off from its $164.99 MSR. Okay, so that is my pluggable block, I think, of devices today. Thanks for watching that with me. Uh, pluggable has a lot of great stuff. They got microscopes. They got Bluetooth adapters. They have docking stations. They have USB to dual HDMI monitor out products. You know what I'm saying? Click through the carousel and chat and learn more about pluggable because they make a lot of cool stuff. And I bet you they have something that you're like, oh, I could use that. Let me know if you click through and learn more about pluggable products and what pluggable product catches your eye, okay? Okay, let's take a quick voice break and then we'll talk about the Husky Super Brute. I'm going to grab this water and then read this chat. What's up, Wiley? Thanks for joining us one minute ago. I appreciate you coming out. Uh, if you're still here, uh, enjoy your shower as you walk away. Um, don't come back bare-cheeked, okay? Wear a towel when you come back to the computer or put like a little piece of tape over your computer monitor, uh, uh, over your computer camera, all right? 
Enjoy your 30 to 40 minute shower. That seems excessive. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's it. Welcome to the show. Enjoy your shower. I see the chat's a little slow. And uh, yeah, my voice is back. Let's keep it going. We're going to talk about the Husky 82022 Super Brute. Now, okay, the jack that we're going to talk about is the 5,000 uh, weight model. And I'm going to show you today the 4,000 model, okay? But the difference is, one sec. <clears throat> The difference between the 4,000 model and the 5,000 model are extremely slight, and I can confidently show you both at the same time uh, as well. This is the 4,000 model. I'm going to pick it up in a second and show it to you. Um, I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Is that rain or snow? Is that snow? It looks like it could be rain. The weather looks really bad. The weather's been really mild here, and now it looks like it's taking a turn for the worse. Anyway, let me not be distracted by what's going on outside and tell you more about the Husky Super Brute 82022. Uh, this is going to probably be AKA HSB 5000, the Husky Super Brute HSB 5000. Now, let me pick up where I left off before I got distracted by the weather outside and tell you, I'm going to show you the HSB 4000 model. I own the 5000 model, okay? And that is connected to my camper outside right now. Um, and the only difference is that it lifts 1,000 pounds. I don't know why I'm getting off topic here. I'm looking at that weather. My cameras are driving me crazy. I don't want all this poor weather. Anyway, once again... I digress, and let me carry on by telling you that the HSB 5000 has this great corkscrew design with ball bearings. It's not turning a vertical cog into a, a – uh, it's not turning a horizontal turning motion into a, a vertical up and down uh, with a 45-degree cog system. It holds a lot more weight, basically, is what I'm saying, in a, in a secure manner and less chances for fails. I'm going to pick this up in a minute. It is a little bit heavy. It's right over here. This is what we're talking about, okay? We're talking about this trailer jack, and this trailer jack here is rated for 5,000 pounds, okay? It comes with a remote control so that you can put it up and down without even having to touch it that's what you get with the 5000 model is the remote control also we do have the manual jack in it here let me bring it a little bit closer okay let's bring it just a little bit closer uh oh man we can zoom in i guess with the obs bot hold on <clears throat> okay, so this is the Husky Super Brew HSB 5000. Now, again, this is the 4000 model. The 5000 model looks absolutely identical to the 4000 model. You're getting nothing different in aesthetic. Only with the 5000, you get that included remote control that's going to allow you to up and down and lock your camera if you uh, lock your uh camping jack if you need now i said camping jack but it's not just designed for camping you can use this for work you can use it for camping whatever you need to lift rated up to five thousand pounds the husky super jack has you covered now if the super brew has a five thousand pound lift capacity with a full 18 inch stroke and uh it's rated Load up, down, six-inch cycle travel time is 60 seconds. So you can go from bottom to top in 60 seconds, which is really great. This is the box it comes in. And, uh, yeah, I love my Husky Super Brute. Um, I had my old one have a problem, so I replaced it with a new one. It was just a really weird thing that happened. And I'm very confident with the build quality of the Husky Super Brute products. These come with two-year out-of-the-box warranty and uh i mean that's almost it that's almost it there's, there's actually a lot more there's two switches one switch is to move the 
jack up and down. So not only can you crank it with the crank at the top, which is just, you know, slightly out of frame, not only can you crank it with the included crank, okay, you can move it uh, manually with the included switch. And then there's a light that comes off the front. It's here and has lights on the sides uh, located on both sides here and on the opposite side. So when you hit the light switch, you get a lot of great light thrown out to illuminate your work area, which is super helpful if you're showing up somewhere early in the morning or leaving late at night. Obviously, light is good in the dark, and that's great. I love that it has the remote. You can wire this into your seven-way. There's a little hole that's down here that has a great weather protection rubber gasket that uh, is your switch to switch this from neutral to drive. So when you're, when you're using it electronically, you want to put it in drive. And uh, when you're using it manually with the included uh, jack at the top here, then you want to put it into neutral mode. And leaving it in drive just keeps it locked in place uh, when not in cranking use, okay? Uh, the Husky Super Brew Jack is available today for $341 and a little bit of change. I can't see that far across the room. Let me place this back. <laughs> and it's like it's like going from uh it was like getting the husky super brute for me because i was using one of those like super cheap always manually crank jacks uh when i switched from that old school style jack to the electric jack it was like going from it was literally going from uh like rubbing sticks together to make a campfire to using a microwave to cook a hot dog. It was crazy how modern and finette and great I felt using. And I just stand back like this. I got my, look, it's got the guard on it. It's got the guard to protect the buttons. So I pull it back with my thumb. Really easy, kind of really easy to pull back. And I got the camper sitting there and, and everything's there and it's hot outside. And I don't feel like I don't have to, I know that I don't have to manually crank. So I just arch my back back and give them one of these with the thing it doesn't make the buzzing sound it makes more like a whirring sound that i can't mimic but yeah you get the remote you don't have to do anything you just stand there and press the button and even if you don't have the remote and you're using the hsb 4000 or you're using the hsb 5000 model uh without the remote you still just hit the switch and it's just up down like it's so easy no more cranking in the sun you don't have to crank it in the sun anymore okay when you get the husky super brew hsb 5000 and today like i was saying this model has a four and a half star rating with almost 600 reviews and it is 341 dollars and 16 cents today which i think is cheaper overall than its uh lesser counterpart the hsb 4000 identical models just one has the remote and is rated for a little bit more weight I've been using my Husky Super Brute for a couple years. Pretty satisfied. And then things changed when I when I wanted to replace the jack and I got this one. Oh. Is everybody okay? I'm fine. Well, I just noticed that it was falling as I was turning my back. Yeah, listen, let me tell you something about the Husky Super Brute, okay? It's well good balanced. This is a great balanced pr uh, product. When you put this on a sturdy, hard surface, like it stands up straight and it balances very well. I've got it on a rubber mat on a soft carpet floor, and I didn't ensure that it was leaning against the table well enough. That's the only reason that it fell. And the only reason that I make a big deal out of it is because it, it fell, so that's it. But uh, yeah, like uh, when, when the show's done, and it's time to put the jack away. I'll just go put it at the back of the house where I do and keep it there like on its foot. The foot is very secure. So don't let this be an accurate representation of, uh, of its ability to stand on its own. But even still then, okay, even still then, uh, you don't, that, I'm just doing that for storage. You, you usually are going to have this attached to a camper uh, and it has all the included hardware, which I've got over here. It's got the switches. It's got, the, it's got the little key to put your switch from drive to neutral. It's got all your grommets. It's got your bolts to attach this to the camper. So every piece of hardware you need to completely install the HSB 5000 is included in that box, which is this bad boy here. Okay, let's, uh, 
Let's um, let's, you know what? Let's just leave the jag. What's the point of standing the jag? Well, I guess it we're it's on the show today. Okay, hopefully that's not so bad. And then if we accidentally fall again with the jack, then we will just, we will understand that it gets to stay down for the rest of the show. Hey, what's up, Lydia C? What's up, Lori B? Oh, it's so good to see you out here. Thanks for coming out. What's up, Ed? How you doing? I'm so glad you're here. I have absolutely no use for that. For the jack, for the camping jack? Yeah, it's hit and miss with the camping jack, you know. I love the camping stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if the jacks weren't so, uh, if jacks were easily interchangeable, I would love to test a whole plethora of them. That's all I'm saying. I love, I love camping jacks and stuff. When it comes to camping gear, like I said, you can use this for work or whatever. I use mine for camping, right? And uh, yeah, it just takes the ease out of my mind when I'm using this that I don't have to be manually cranking. <clears throat> um, hmm. I mean, I'm not trying to sell you on the jack. I, I did that. I was like, what can I say to really still sell Stargazer a jack right now on Clown Live? And uh, I couldn't think of anything. I don't need to do that. Uh, yeah, but it's. I think that it is, is, excuse me, I believe that it would be extremely useful to the people who could make use of it. Okay, let's keep the show going and talk about the Trucker Bluetooth headset. These are on for $71 right now. They're usually $90, so it's 21% off. Uh, this is a deal. It's 0% claimed, okay? So hurry up and get, get it in before you don't have the ability to anymore. I've got these right here. These are the Exatelcom environmental noise canceling uh, headphone. It's a wireless headset. It's not headphones because it's actually just one headset uh, cup uh, attached to this device. Let's take a look at it outside of the box. I love the black box with the copper shiny uh, coloring. Uh, I think that's like one of the nice, it's really super plain, really fresh box. Anyway, let's take a look in the box. You're going to get it. It looks like this inside. It's going to have a bag and that bag is to be protecting your Exatelcom H1. When not in use, it's going to have a nice uh, heat transferred logo on the front of this soft cloth bag as well as social media uh, information on the back. And then we have the product itself. And here I've got the product in hand. This is the Exa Telcom H1. And this is what it looks like. It has one nice cup. It doesn't have any, it doesn't have much in the way of padding where my thumb is at the head, at the headset, but it does have a great, great um, feeling uh, soft, ear cup okay when this is a bi-directional headset so it doesn't matter which way we put it on whether we put it on right on the right side and pull our headphone down our microphone excuse me or if we put it on our left ear and then move the microphone all the way over the exa telcom h1 offers 270 degrees of rotation in the microphone to get it exactly where you need it in either side of your head when you're wearing it okay Ah, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have peeled it off like that. Be careful if you have long hair. You don't want to get this extremely soft and ultra flexible rubber uh, pad that touches the other side of your head. This doesn't cause any pinching. This doesn't pinch. I know I just pulled my hair and I'm putting it back on, but this doesn't cause any pinching. And what else I like about it is that it does offer like a little bit of flex. So it does move like, you know, it does offer some rotation uh, in regard to fitting you very well. The only place that offers any adjustment for the top of your head, however, is on the cup side and that's right here. So we can see, you know, how, uh, how it moves in and out, uh, just a little bit of flex, but it's gotta be enough. You know what I mean? I doubt, I doubt Exa made it for like only small boys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, so what's great about the microphone in conjunction with its 270 degree uh, rotation is that it has a mute button built right onto it, so you can toggle calls. And now here's another awesome thing <laughs> about the microphone and the Exa Telcom H1 in general. There is a great algorithm that is built into this device that is designed to reduce road noise and give a high quality, uh, clear, excuse me, 
it has an algorithm built into it that is designed to deliver a high quality, clear call to the person that you're speaking with. And uh, I love that it offers only one cup over one ear so that you can get a nice, secure sounding call, like a nice quiet call in one ear, but still have one ear open to be aware of your spatial surroundings. Now, these are the Trucker Bluetooth headset by Exit Telecom. This is the H1 model. So yeah, I think it's great that when considering that it could be for design for truckers, that you do have that ear open to be more aware of your surroundings. Uh, yeah, this is $70.99 today, the Exa H1. We gave one of these away, I think, in December, and uh, and I think there was another user. Uh, not Bill. Bill. I think Bill said he was a trucker, but he got the Exa E1000s, and then that there was another user that came here who, who did get the H1, and I believe that they were satisfied with it. I think that's right. Uh, okay, so before I put these away, not only does it have everything that I just said as a great feature, but also um, being hands-free is ultra useful. And you can leave your phone in your rig and then leave the truck and, and go to the back of the truck if you need to. Uh, this offers a range of, of, of at least 100 feet, at least 100 feet uh, from what it's paired to. So the Exa Telcom H1 environmental noise canceling wireless headset is available today for $70.99. And that is on a deal that is 21% off. It's usually 90 bucks. It's 71 bucks today. So get that deal before it's fully claimed. Okay, what's next on the menu? The V-Pod? Yeah, we can talk about the V-Pod. Yo, my V-Pod pads are getting a little less sticky, so I'm going to forego the demo of sticking it to my skin today. But this is the box for the Massage Therapy Concepts V-Pod Deluxe Wireless Tens and EMS Unit. This is a fantastic device if you're working out at the gym and you need to uh, help uh, offer yourself some uh, great massage type benefits that you might that your gym might not offer or if you have like some local pain like a sore knee or like my sore shoulder or my bad back the v-pod deluxe really helps mitigate pain for the time that you're using it uh in those areas okay now let me open this and show you that when you buy this today for 189 dollars you're gonna get two pods we'll talk about that in just a second you're going to get one large pad that is inside this bag here. That whole thing, everything that's black on this is the electrode. Isn't that crazy? That's how big the electrodes are. It's awesome. And not, you, not only do you get one big one, but you also get two small ones. Here I have a small one uh, with the pod on it. And here's the other small one without a pod on it. This is a great wireless option for treating EMF. Like, excuse me. The wireless tens and EMS unit is a great option if you're tired of sitting on cords. Maybe you got a bad back, you don't want to sit back. You can put this on. It's wireless. It connects to an app that is free uh, on Google Play and iOS devices, and it's really simple to connect. You press the button once, and it turns on, and it flashes blue. This indicates that it's on and in pairing mode. And when you open your phone or the device that you have the app installed on, it's easy to be seen and pair. It takes two clicks to pair it. And once you're in the once you're in the app with a connected device, and this is applied to the area that you want to treat, you can have 24 different treatment options with 20 different intensity levels. So a lot, a lot of nuance to really help you feel better than what you may have previously without using this device. Now, what is another amazing feature about the VPod Deluxe is that you get two pods. I got the other pod here in the bag and you get this mesh bag as well included with your VPod Deluxe and it has two zippers on it that hold both your pods in individual cases. So what's cool about it is you get both pods and then you can connect both of the pods at the same time to the device and treat different areas of your body. The VPod Deluxe doesn't only come with these bow tie shaped small and large electrode pads. They also come with, uh, it doesn't come with it, doesn't come with it. You can click through the carousel and learn more at the Massage Therapy Concepts store. 
and see that they have other um, electrode pads available. They have circle ones. They have one that goes, they have a one that goes on your abs. It's really big. And uh, they have one that is good for your feet. It just sits on the floor like a mat. And then you snap one of these pods to it and do the treatment. And it just treats all the bottom of your feet. I think that would be crazy to use. I'm not going to front. I'd like to try it sometime. But uh, I never went and bought additional pads because I've got so many large and small pads. When I got mine, I got additional pads uh, of large and small size. So uh, I'm going to use them up. Now, they do stick to your skin incredibly easily. You know, please understand that I've done demos with mine multiple times. So they're starting to lose a little bit of their adhesion. Uh, so we're going to forego the demo with the Massage Therapy Concepts, V-Pod Deluxe, EMS and TENS unit today. But uh, it's really fun. Isn't it fun watching me go, ah, ah, as it like zaps my arm and curls my fingers uh, against my will uh, in a non-painful non way? Y'all know you were watching the other day. I hurt my back and my back was sore for one of the shows last week or whatever. And I ended up, uh, I ended up uh, putting the V pod on my lower back and just blasted it for like an hour while I sat in the chair and watched Amazon live videos. And uh, it really helped take my mind off how much pain I was in. Uh, and it really kind of like did aid in making me feel like I could move a little more freely around the house until it did eventually tighten up again. Uh, before loosening out, and then I was good in the morning. I just had to get some good sleep. But it really alleviated that lower sciatica pain that I had in my back. And uh, I'll spare, again, showing you my scar and all that. But, yeah, the Massage v the massage Therapy Concepts V-Pod Deluxe is a really great device. It comes with some cool manuals that tells you where to put these and how you can use them for even maximum – to maximally achieve uh, what it's designed to do. But, like, honestly – I put it on me and I, where I want, oh my, excuse me. I put it on me where I want on my shoulder and on my back. And, uh, and I feel just fine. I feel just fine. Has everything you need to kick off feeling great. The massage therapy concepts V pod deluxe is available for $189 today. Man, is everything else just prex text and then B-roll? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, let's bring all the prex text up at once and talk about all of it at the same time. We'll bring all the prex text up at once and talk about all of it at the same time. We'll talk about these boys and these boys. Yo, did you know that I still didn't leave the house to go to a place to buy batteries? I did not. I did not. I need to. Because there are some things that have batteries that I would like to demo for you on the show. And I just haven't went and got batteries. So I stay in the house more often than I should. Okay. Uh, enough of me staying inside, though. Excuse me for uh, rubbing my eyes like that. A little tired came over me. Let me uh, drink some water. And let's carry on. Let's move on to the Prex Text Remote Control 2-in-1 Cartoon Police and Race Car Set. That is what is in this box right here. Let's open the box and see what's inside. I mean, I've already opened this box a couple times, but uh, let's, be, let's be real. Opening boxes is always fun to do. And uh, I got this almost packed the way that it came to me. Okay, so this is the race car set. Uh, I want to pull the guys out so that they don't fall out. Let me put them on the table real quick. And uh, yeah, just hold these in kind of gently. Yeah, this is this is how it comes packed. You get the cop car, you get the police car and the race car. Uh, you get the remote controls that are included uh, to drive these cars. Cars come out like this. They're really cute. They're identical, just different skins. You know what I'm saying? One is for the police car, and then the other one is here for the uh, a race car. Let's uh, go, right? So you get the race car for the race car. Okay, let's talk about the little guys that are included as well. Oops, I knocked over my iPhone. That's okay. Um, let's move the remote. Remote controls are ultra simple. You have forward and turn. There's only one forward and one turn button. This is really interesting, actually. There's... <laughs> 
There's only one forward button and one turn button on these remotes. Let's look at the police car. One forward button, one turn button. And then look, on the police car, under the button controls, there's no numbers. And then under the race car remote control, there's a 40 under the go forward button and a 49 under the turn button. Okay, anyway, some mysteries will never be solved here on Clown Live, but carrying on, this is the race car driver. I think he looks like a pudgy little astronaut, okay? And this is the policeman. I like his T-shirt. He decided to go business casual today at work with the short sleeves, and uh, they're ready to race. They're ready to race. And uh, who do you got your money on? Who do you got your money on? Let me know in the chat who do you think would win in a race. Do you think it would be the police officer, or do you think it would be the fat astronaut race car driver i got my money on the race car driver all day but maybe my man has his sleeves rolled up maybe he's got them rolled up any means business right now but he does have that nice smile on his face so i think he's ready for a fair race i think he's ready for a fair race i'm still giving for the race car man let me know who you think would win in the race car race between the police car and the race car set and today okay the prex text remote control cars are available for 29.99 i like that you guys just keep saying astronaut <laughs> fat astronaut <laughs> it is a race car driver i mean he is a race car driver <laughs> i know that i was saying it but reading the words in the chat is really funny uh you think the back to the grind yeah look the, they they both fit in their cars like this uh, I don't know if it's magnets or if it's just like this little hole at the bottom of his feet is just a little bit smaller for the peg, but the foot, it, there's definitely a button in here. So whenever you put the race car driver in the car or the police officer in his car, uh, when you seat them properly, like uh, they stick and then like they, I'm sure I could shake it out, but they stick in. Okay. And it's a button and the steering wheel is a button. And the back, the hood is a button. So that's pretty cool. And then it does have only one turn turn on it. So you're only turning one way with these race cars. So uh, good luck. Good luck, okay? Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, fat astronaut takes it. Astronaut, astronaut, astronaut. Police. Uh, back to the grind. Oh, you guys started back to the grind stuff? Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys think the fat astronaut is going to win in his little spaceship? Do, 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 maybe, maybe. We'll get some batteries and we'll race these, okay, uh, on the show when the time is appropriate. I was just telling Mima today, there's so many things that I need to get batteries for on the show, and I just haven't, so I've got to. Hey, what's up, Samantha Guevara? Thanks for hanging out with us today. Uh, I see you guys are all doing the roll call, so that looks great. And, uh, yeah, let's keep it going with the Prex Tech stuff, because as soon as we're done these dinosaurs, then we can sit down. And talk some B-roll. Okay, so we're going to bounce between both of these. Now, I'll just do the one first and then the other one after. Let's uh, let's talk about the let's talk about the next one in the, in the slot because I got the box in my hand. Okay, this is the Prex Text Dinosaur Volcano House with five plush dinosaurs. This is ha this has a little handle on it for tiny little hands to carry around. It's a great Christmas gift for like a two-year-old. This has five dinosaurs included in it. And we're going to take a look at those dinosaurs. And what's great about the dinosaurs is that they have really bright, fun colors. And, okay, so this is the box. Let's put the box down and take a closer look at it, the uh, actual product itself. This is the Prex Text Dinosaur House. I love that it has like a textured skin. It's, it's like in – it's fluffy in some spots and then a little bit flatter in others. And that it's not all one solid color. It looks like not a volcano, obviously. It looks like a it looks like a, it looks like a type of emoji that I use in chat pretty often. Um, but uh maybe um anyway, it's not a volcano emoji. Is there a volcano emoji? Do volcano emojis exist? Anyway, uh Despite what I think about how, how fun it looks, it does look really practical with that nice, like uh, everything looks like an individual rock and all the lines in between the rocks are like embossed. So I love that pattern on this volcano and it has a nice zipper door on the front. And when we open it, all of our dinosaur friends are here, but we've got other dinosaurs in here. So we're going to sort these real quick. Um, we can put the dinosaurs on the 
uh, thing. Okay, these are biggies. We got biggies and we got smallies in here. And we got to sort the biggies from the smallies. I think we just got one more biggie. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can't count to five. These are only for two-year-olds. I'm 40, and so I couldn't count to five right there real quick. But now I can, and everything seems great. Let's pull these other dinosaurs out so that we can talk a little more about the volcano. Okay, so this is the volcano. Like I said, it's got a little hook on the top of it for tiny little hands to carry around. And uh, you could put it on a hook if you wanted to. Uh, it's not like textured on the inside at all. It's just white and everything. And these are the five dinosaurs that come with it. You get, I don't know my dinosaurs, but I know you get a Triceratops is one. Okay. You get a cute bright blue Triceratops. Now, I don't know if the color schemes vary from Prextex plush to Prextex plush or if all Triceratopses are blue. I'm not sure how it works. We get a fun brown T-Rex, okay? Also, we get a Brontosaurus. So I know three of my five, but then this is where we get this is where we get crazy. This is the big Brontosaurus, and then this one has to be the Stegosaurus, okay? But what is this one? What's the green one? I don't know what the green one is. So uh, we get Stegosaurus, Triceratops, T-Rex, Brontosaurus, and Green Boy here. And that's the five that you get. And there's really not much else to say about this. These are really soft. They're really fun. And today for the five piece with the uh, with the volcano, it's thirty bucks, and that's on deal. It's fourteen percent off. It's regularly uh, thirty five dollars. Today it's thirty bucks, and yeah, you get the you get the dinosaur volcano house and these five uh, big. These are the big boys. Okay, these are the big plush uh, dinosaurs compared to what we're gonna take a look at next. These uh, this this uh, quintet. Okay. This quintet of, uh, of tough guys is uh, big. These are the big guys, okay? So let's, uh, let's, like, uh, let's gently put them down, okay, instead of whatever. Not gently putting them down. Let's grab these other stuffies. And let's talk about these now. The, uh, the Prextex Dinosaur Volcano House with the five stuffies is available today for 30 bucks. But now we also have this highlighted in the carousel, and this is the Prex Tex Plush Dinosaur Set, and this is eight. You get eight plushies for 25 bucks. This is also on deal. It's 5% off. It's regular 27, 26.39, it says. Today it's 24.99, and look, you get eight. And now I'm totally, I'm, I'm surprised I did five dinosaurs, four out of five. There's no way I'm going to get eight. But you get the little brontosaurus. You get the guy who I don't know, okay? Also, we get another tiny Triceratops. And look, let's take a look real quick, okay? This is the size difference between the large Triceratops with the Volcano Kit and the small Triceratops with the... Uh, with the um, with the with the eight pack that we're talking about now and that the same thing applies like they're all smaller obviously and look here's the t-rex he's got like a little spine on him this is the little t-rex and then this is the big t-rex from the uh from the kit okay so really fun these are really soft they feel really good the eyes they don't feel like they're gonna pull out too easily uh and it's the only thing that is made of plastic on these on these uh, really cute dinosaurs. Okay, so with the eight kit though, you do get the brontosaurus, you get the T-Rex, you get like the dual spine, I don't know, brachiosaurus, I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, and then also the triceratops and then some other dinosaurs. You get like a blue one here and some other like uh, cool dinosaurs. I, I don't know my dinosaurs, I wish I did. But these guys are the same. The blue guy and the yellow guy are the same except one has a single row of spikes and one has a du double row of spikes. So I don't know. I don't know my dinosaurs. Uh, it's been a long time since I talked about them. And then also you get this cute little guy here. He's orange and yellow, really fun. And yeah, this is it. You get this eight pack for $25 today. Really cute stuffies. Uh, we're going to sit down. So I guess, uh, I guess I'll just put this stuff on the couch. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Well, let me clean up a couple quick things here, and then we'll sit down in front of the in front of the computer, and we'll talk about some product pages. And uh, yeah, it's uh, twenty after six. Cool. All 
I think that's it, right? Let's see, we did it all. Let's turn off one studio lights. Ah, I like this part of the show where it's one studio light. It gets a little bright. It's not intimidating or anything. We could do it for a few hours, but when it's not a lot of lights, it sure is nice. A good shot. There we go. Cool. Okay. That's it. We did it. What's up, everybody? How's everybody good doing? We're chilling now. Now we are mad chilling. Thought it said your mom called, Rover. Oh, Ed won on Nate four minutes ago. Oh, that's too bad. Sorry, Nate. You know, you win some, you lose some out here on Amazon Live. It's just the way the the dice rolls. I don't know. Okay, let's get our screen shared and start talking about the next products that we got in our carousel. Uh, that was the physical products presentation. I hope that you all enjoyed it. What's up, Leslie Sheffield? Thanks for doing the roll call and then saying hello. Uh, okay, y'all are fun to talk to, but I'm getting distracted by a good time. I need to share my screen. Uh, we got the clown race showing right now, but we're not doing that. We aren't doing that, are we? We're going to talk about some products first. And the first thing that we're going to talk about is going to be this Maroc Portable Deep Tissue Mini Massage Gun. So let's have James walk us through this and uh, and let's start talking about our B-roll products. Today we're taking a look at the Maroc Mini Massage Gun, guys. Yes, you heard me. Mini Massage Gun. Now, as you guys see, it comes in a nice little uh, soft or slash hard shell carrying case. I kind of like this. It has a little handle but also has the nice little zipper design with the gray look. You pop it open and then you'll start seeing what comes inside. First, you get the instruction manual. We really don't need that if you already know what you're doing. Oh, whoa, then you whoa, have whoa. USB hold on, hold on, USB. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, oh, I don't like that. You see cable. Hold this is I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Yo, did you just say uh, Mark Laroc? Thank you for joining. Okay, Mark Laroc, thank you for joining us here on Amazon Live. Let's stand up. For our new friend, Marc Larot, okay, and appreciate him to the fullest. He says, I never watched Amazon Live before this. Was wandering around the website looking for a new video game controller to use for playing FIFA on PC. Yo, hey, Marc Larot, no problem. I uh, am from Canada, so I speak a little bit of French. So I hope uh, I hope you're not Marc Larot, okay? I hope you are Marc Larot. It's probably also butchered. Uh, uh, but thank you for joining. Please consider the following, okay? Please consider hitting that follow button here. If you're on your phone, it is somewhere. Tap your screen. It should appear. If you're on your PC, it's Larot. Okay, sorry. Um, if you are on your PC, it should be just right under us here under the screen. Please hit follow. It definitely helps our social media reach. And check this out, Mark. We are also hosting a $5 Amazon gift card giveaway right here on this show. That's a, Oh, you did follow already? Did I miss the follow? Did I miss the follow? Did I miss the follow? I'm scrolling back 20 minutes. Oh, Mark LaRock started following 24 minutes ago. Thank you, Mark, so much. I see that. I appreciate you doing that. Listen, we are doing a $5 Amazon gift card giveaway here on today's show, and that is happening at the end of us talking about these products. Head over to shoppingdragons.com slash win now, okay, and put your email in at that form, and then come back here and do the roll call. The roll call today is back to the grind, okay? And come put that in the chat if you haven't already entered the form. And at the end of the show, we're going to do a race for a $5 Amazon gift card. And if you could be so inclined, please uh, do the other entries on the form uh, so that we may expand our social media reach. I would appreciate that so kindly. And don't forget the following, okay? We are also hosting here on Shopping Dragons a $100 Amazon gift card or PayPal cash payout the winner gets to choose the prize. And that is happening now. It started on January 1st, and we're running that for the entire month of January. After the uh, contest is over, we're going to draw a name shortly afterwards and announce it very quickly. So good luck to you, Mark, if you enter that. 
Uh, that would be so great if you never learned about Amazon live streams and then you started following us here on Shopping Dragons, which you're already doing, as well as consider this Shopping Dragons and Dragon Blogger are one and the same. We're the same thing. So when you learn more about Amazon live streams and you see all the great giveaways that are constantly, constantly happening here, good luck to you. Good luck to you, okay? Everybody has great luck on Amazon Live. Sometimes they have good streaks. Sometimes they don't have good streaks. But if you stick around and you become a part of this great community, I guarantee you're going to start winning some wonderful, wonderful prizes here, ranging from $5 Amazon gift cards like we're talking about here, all the way up to something as major as Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, our parent channel, has... has gotten to cahoots with vast vast and dragon blogger tech and entertainment have gotten together to host a steam deck giveaway that steam deck giveaway is happening now it started on december 16th and it's going to end on january 15th and then shortly after that somebody is going to be picked as the winner of that 650 dollars uh, msrp steam deck i wish that i could enter but i'm a dragon blogger so they don't let me play i'd love to get my hands on that steam deck okay there's so 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 much going on here at shopping dragons as well as dragon blogger tech and entertainment find the websites welcome to amazon live mark i hope that you enjoy yourself here and uh remember there's always always a chance to win something just say hello just say hello in the chat you never know what's going to come your way uh thank you again for joining us mark and now with the excellent formality of the giveaways out of the way i'm going to sit back down and let's get into our b-roll let's get into our b-roll shows okay uh, thank you, Mark. Thank you for following 20 minutes ago. Uh, good luck to you if you enter the form, okay? <clears throat> okay, let's get back into the mini massage, uh, the mini massage gun that James was talking about a moment ago. Nice little cable for charging. Now, the cool thing is this does have a 2,000 milliamp battery, so you get about seven hours of use time on this. Now, I'm going to set the device aside first. We're going to talk about this. You have four heads. You have the hook style head. This is good for like getting into those muscles or right in here, guys, to get that nice little hook style in there. Now we're going to pop open the ball head. You have the ball head, guys. This is really good for getting almost anywhere if you really want. Then you have the bullet. The bullet's for nice, deep penetration of into the muscles and getting all that very quick, very easy. And then you have this very cool flat paddle or style uh, head. We're going to show you guys the device. So the device, literally that small, guys, not even, it's maybe over a pound, right? It's probably over a pound easy, right? But not too heavy. You have a power button back here, and I'll show you guys how that works in a second. Then you have the charging cable or charging port at the bottom. Then you have where the head inserts, and we're going to talk about that first, guys. The head literally just goes in, pushes in, and it's in. Very simple, very easy. To power it on, you guys will literally have to hold it on until it comes on. Then you have three, four, three levels of power, right? And then you see, hi, let's go level one. And you guys see that moving. Hopefully you guys see that moving, right? Level two, level three. Guys, quick, easy, just start using it and going to town. Now I'm going to show you guys. Hopefully you guys see this. That's level Three of shape moving, right? Very simple, very easy, guys. Just work it. Now, use this for about 20 minutes. Don't go overboard, guys. You don't really need to go overboard. 20 minutes in an area is good enough. You know, seven hours off the battery charge. Very simple. Power it off, hold it down, and you are off. Charge it up, guys. It shouldn't take too long. About an hour, an hour and a half charges. Fully charged. Very simple, very easy, guys. And this is the Mirage mini massage gun guys this is a nice little tool thanks for checking out this video and i hope you guys all have a great one thanks james the mirage mini massage gun is available today for 89.99 as four and a half stars on 336 ratings not so bad i guess but uh seven hours seven hour playback time seven hour use time i mean to say uh out of the mini massager seems pretty great uh yeah cool okay let's keep it going let's talk about this uh 
Luxego filtered shower head. Let's talk about this. It's on deal today. It's 35% off, making it $29.98 when it's regular $45.99. Okay. And that's not too bad of a deal. 35% off is a real good deal. But uh, yeah, let's learn more about this. James is also going to talk to us about this. Let's jump into it. James here. And today we're taking a quick look at the Luxigo three setting shower head, guys. This is a shower head with filter beads built in. Now, the cool thing is it does three settings, of course, does come in two colors. So if you don't want the blue, it does come in a see through clear. And the three settings are rainfall, jetting, and massage. Now, the cool part is also that it comes with the connector hose and the connector adapter and O rings for everything to install. Plus, the beads are easily disassembled so you can take them out and clean them. But they also say with this, it will actually give you up to 200% increased water pressure while saving water, which is very cool to have. Now, we're going to pop this open and give you guys your first look of what everything comes in it. And then we'll install it and show you guys it actually in action. First, you have a little manual tips and tricks of how to install it if you guys need that. I don't technically need that. I've done enough shower heads to know that this will be fine. Now, they do give you some plumber's tape, which is great, guys. Always add plumber's tape. Then you have this top piece. Then you have the adapter. This adapter will screw onto the pipe that comes out of your wall right here. Now, guys, make sure that this filter is in there. If you guys don't want the filter in, you can take the filter out, guys. Taking the filter out will actually give you more pressure straight through, but it will let the contaminants in also. So just remember that, guys. That gasket and filter is there for a reason. Then you also have another gasket right here. That will actually go right here. Then you have the part that will hold the top of the shower head, which is cool. Easy, guys. Just screws right in. You really don't need no tools. You can hand tight this probably just fine. So as we move along, we will actually have the shower head. The shower head is right here. This is the shower head itself. Now, taking this apart to clean the filters is actually really easy, guys. So literally, you can unscrew the head right here, right? This will give you the option to pull the first set of beads out. But to do that, you literally have to start taking everything apart. Now remember, since it does come all apart, you have those beads in there you can take out and clean, or you have the upper beads. Now we're going to leave all that in there, and I'm going to make sure it's in. Nice and tight. But remember, it's pretty cool. the Let's plastic the shower head, don't well. over-tighten it. You this will well. crack. Well, we're going to fill with water. I pre-tested it. It's very simple. Just screw this on. Make sure you use the plumber's tape. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Easy to fill. You can see the build. The beads have water blocking What's up, Wiley? How was your shower? So, was it with a Luxigo filtered shower head? No. You should have on. one of these. They're only 30 bucks today, Instantly, Wiley. Instantly, you out. have the rainfall style. But if you click this button, right, there's a button up top. Changes. Then changes pattern again. It's actually putting out a lot of water, which is really great to have and see. If you guys, hopefully you guys can see that. I know it's kind of hard to see the rain, but just know that it's actually spraying a lot of water. Very easy, very simple, very quick to use, guys. No problems. Now let's look back here. Here is the button right here, guys. This is what changes your shower modes, the three modes. So just remember that. There's your three modes. Simple, easy, guys. Again, this is the Lexigo shower head with filtration beads. Thanks for checking it out, and have a great one, guys. Thank you, James, for talking to us about the Lexigo filtered shower head. Uh, that looks pretty cool. It's got a lot of different filter options with all those beads. I wonder, uh, I wonder how long it takes before they recommend that you do. You just get to wash the beads. And then they're good to go again, or do they stop filtering after a while? It looks like something you would be able to wash. Okay, cool. That's cool. 35% uh, off today from its regular $46 MSRP down to 30 bucks. That's $29.98 today for the Luxigo filtered showerhead. Now let's take a look at this Shark Geek portable charger. It is also on deal. It's 20% off today, making it $123, excuse me, $183.20. But uh, yeah, I got this right here. I want to show it to you. James is going to talk to us about it. So let's listen to James tell us right now about this Shark Geek portable charger. Portable charging, uh, portable charger. 
Let's be honest, guys. Portable charger, Storm 2, 100 watt, 25,600 milliamp power bank. This little power bank is actually quite cool. It comes in this nice little black box. And we are going to pop out and show you guys some cool stuff in here. Now, this is good for a lot of stuff, including USB-C style cable charging cables or USB charging cables. It is also good for your MacBooks, your Pros, your Dells, and all of the other items. Now, cool thing is, is they give you this little sheet here. This little sheet is for a reason because it has a digital screen, and this digital screen actually has a settings mode. Now, hopefully you guys can see the settings mode. You will have to hold down the power button for 30 seconds. It will go into settings, and you can adjust your temperature and your settings, your screens, and all of that cool stuff, guys, if you need. Now, they also give you this super long, very cool-looking USB-C to USB-C charging cable. This charging cable is good up to 100 watts charging. Then they give you this nice carrying case, guys. So you do have a nice, very thick drawstring carrying case. Now, this is thicker than most drawstring carrying cases I have felt in a while, and they do have their logo right there, the Storm 2 Liquid. This is where it's going to get cool, and you guys are going to love this. Honestly, I was quite surprised by this device because it is see-through acrylic. It is see-through acrylic, guys. There is your front screen and your tops. You'll see your diodes and all of your chips. Now, if you look on the side, you will actually see all your lithium-ion batteries. So your lithium-ion batteries are just that visible right there. Now, on the back side, it shows you your back. It is screwed in and connected. Now, here's where it gets kind of cool. Also, you do have two USB ports. One of the USB-C ports is for out only. Then your USB-A output is for out only also. Then you move over to here. This USB-C port is in and out. So it, it will charge this device or charge outwards. Then if you move over, you have the DC plug. That DC plug, guys, is an in and out charging capability also for the device. Now, we're going to talk about a few things. And this is where it's going to get cool. So we have a lot of stuff. We have the USB-C 1 and 2 ports. We have the USB-A port. We have the DC in and out. We have the power buttons, the voltage buttons, the current buttons, the batteries. They are all indicated on this front screen. And I'm going to light this up. And we're going to let the screen load up. And you guys are going to see this. Now you guys see all of the in and out ports and the voltage and your charge level. This leaves us at 16 uh, hours of charge time at 24 Celsius. It tells you the Celsius. Now, if you go into this and if I hold this down, you can go into your settings mode. The settings mode will allow you to adjust your voltage level to what you want or how you want. Yes, this thing does some stuff that none other does it, including the stylus. Now, they say you can charge an iPhone uh, at 18 watts up to four charges off this device. You can do uh, the MacBook Pro about one and a half charges off this device. iPads, one and a half charges. A drone, you, you, you know, one or two charges off a of drone, guys. Uh, the GoPro or DSLR, you'll get about 12 charges off this device or any other devices like Nintendo Switch and all of that. It's cool to have that option. Now, this will charge the book, uh, 0 to 50% on a MacBook Pro 16 in about 41 minutes. 41 minutes to go to 0 to 50% off this to charge it. Now, you can literally charge three devices simultaneously off this device. Very cool. Thank you, James. Yeah, the Shark Geek portable charger actually looks pretty cool. I like how it has the USB-C port that's in and out charging. That's pretty fresh. Uh, okay, today that is on deal. It's 20% off. Regularly, it's 230 bucks. Today, it's down to 183.20. So a uh, pretty good deal. What's up, Chucky? Thanks for hanging out with us today. We are getting close to that time. It seems to uh, do an Amazon gift card giveaway, but we are going to talk about a couple more products first. And the next one is going to be the Shine Well leg massagers. It looks like with heat and massage. These are already 32% claimed on this 30% off deal. These are regular $170. Today, they are on sale for $119. That's $118.99. I think that we should take a look at the portable. Let's pause that. Let's 
let's take a look at the next video in our showcase here about these Shinewell leg compression massagers. And this is going to be a video by our friend James. Oh, hold on. James here. Today we're taking a quick look at the Shinewell leg air compression massagers, guys. This has three levels of intensities, of course, guys, plus three heat levels and three modes of massaging. Now, the cool thing is, is this is a full leg massager. So it goes from the foot all the way up to the upper leg, which is quite cool because I have not done anything like that before. Now, this will should help with relief of soreness and fatigue of muscles and help recover from like usage of like, you know, if you're out running a lot and help massage it and re, re, you know, recondition you back to health. Now, the cool part is, like I said, guys, the three levels of intensities, but it's just the small compact package. And we're gonna pop it up and show you guys this. I've never actually had a full leg one. Now, I've had other styles, but this would be a first. So, first is you have the extension pads right here, guys. This is cool because it'll extend any of the pieces if they are not wide enough to fit all the way around you. Now you have two sets of the leg compressions, and I'm gonna set those aside. The controller, of course, guys, the power brick. And then you have the other leg. Now I'm gonna set the box side. We're gonna pull out one of these. We don't need both of them out right now. We'll just pull it out and kind of show you guys this. It wraps up rather small. It is velcro together, so Literally unvelcro it. Now you guys will see it fold out in two pieces. Here is your bottom leg. It wraps around Velcro so you upper your upper calf and then your upper thigh. Then you have your hose. This hose connects to the controller, of course, and that's how it massages. Now that's just the one side. We're gonna connect it up with just one guys and show you guys how it works. I'm okay, let's side. jump ahead after James has this grab the to his body. Mid or we'll listen to him talk a little bit about the controller. Or max, same with heat. Hopefully, you guys can see all that. We can change the modes just like that. Heat, also, and intensities. Now I'm gonna shut this off. I'm gonna strap it to my leg. We'll actually put it together so you guys can see it going together while Tommy. So let me change camera views so you guys can see that. Okay, now that I brought you in like this, guys, you want to unstrap it. Unstrap it again, just like that. You will take and unstrap the upper also. And this is how you will feed it through, just like this. Put your foot in the bottom, hopefully. I know it's going to be kind of hard, guys. But put it in. Strap Let's, it on. James have this strapped already to his body. Let's see what happens here. And it's already working. And we have it on sequence. But I'm going to go up to combination. We're going to add the strength up to minimum and the heat to high. So now we're working. I actually feel that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to go to high. I'm just staring at James's it's leg. Like, quiet, I'm just too. staring at his but leg. You can feel it okay, airing enough, up. Enough, and enough. Uh, <laughs> I'm just staring at James's leg like in a trance, listening to the buzzing noise of the compression. I'm just looking at it and that's pretty cool that's pretty cool james got my attention without saying anything listen the shine well leg massager with heat and compression is on a great deal today it's 30 percent off you know it's regular 170 today it's on for 119 and <clears throat> it's already 32 percent claimed that deal so definitely something worth clicking through the carousel and adding to your cart uh tweak my left ankle hurts like hades yo did you try rubbing it? You could rub it. Okay, let's keep the carousel going. We're pretty close to being done here with about 20 minutes left uh, before two hours. And so let's take a look now at the TriBit Stormbox Blast Bluetooth speaker. This thing looks pretty cool. Okay, now I know a little bit about this because I've been looking at them. And uh, before I talk about it, let's have James talk to us about it. 
James here, and today we're taking a look at this big old speaker box from Tribit. This is their Stormbox Blast. It is a portable Bluetooth speaker, guys. Uh, this is actually a 90-watt loud stereo speaker, guys. This is uh, has their x base stuff. It doesn't have an app connected. You will need their Tribit app to run the EQ, so it does have a customizable EQ. Uh, it is IPX7, so it is fully waterproof, guys. Uh, it does have LED lighting and also has a power bank. Yes, that's right. Right. There's a power bank, guys. Um, Bluetooth speaker is, of course, 5.3. It is also TWS compatible, so you can actually pair it up with another device. This is the speaker itself. Now, this speaker does have some weight, guys. Don't expect it to be that light. It does carry a little bit of waste. Now, you've a couple drivers. You have a 15-watt tweeter. Uh, you have two of those 15-watt tweeters, and then you have two 30-watt mid drivers. You then have RGB around the side, and if I power this up just like this, uh, it will come on, and you guys will see this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually swap over to a different microphone, and we're going to let the background pop in so we can play some Okay, now that I switched over to a different uh, microphone, you guys should hear everything I have to say. Now you guys can see the two lit up drivers right there, uh, plus the other drivers and their logo. You also see the two RGB lights on the side. Now the one thing you guys didn't see is, are these passive radiator-like style cones on each side, which is quite cool. Now in the back, you do have this big black cork. Uh, the big black cork, you pop this open, guys, you're gonna see your USB-C port. The USB-C port can actually uh, charge in and out. So with that in and out charge, you can charge in and outwards. You also have an auxiliary port, and you have a regular house plug style right there. So you do have those different charges. The USB-C will allow you to charge a phone or other devices. Now it does come with the wall plug if you guys need the wall cord. Now, like I said, since it's an in and out, you can actually charge this uh, both ways, which is quite cool. 30 hours of power time with this. Now, you do have a light button. The light button will actually change your RGBs on and off. If you guys want to change patterns, uh, if you want to go to music modes and stuff like that, which is quite, quite cool. You also have X space. The X space will turn it up and down. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some music off the Tribit app and I'm going to come over here. We're going to unlock my equalizer. The equalizer already has a few of these in here. You have music, X space. Uh, you have classical party, jazz, audiobook, and customizable. If you want customizable, make it to your own stuff. Uh, you also have settings. Now, we're going to back out of that. We're going to come over here where I have some DMCA music. I'm going to pause this. You guys are going to hear this. So hopefully you guys can kind of hear this right now. So let's go up. Very, very loud, guys. Uh, so if I drop down the next face. You notice the difference. You also see the lighting effects. So if I change it over there, sounds very, very nice. Uh, volume up and down, of course. Up. Pause it right there if you want to pause it. Play it again. this down just like this we're gonna power that off simple easy off working guys if you need a very loud very cool with rgb lighting bluetooth speaker maybe the tribit uh storm is yours guys this again guys this is the tribit storm box blast uh very nice bluetooth I mean, speaker but guys remember it's got some weight you're going to remember that. Thank you, James. Yo, I didn't mean to click my button there and pop me forward, but here we are talking about the Tribit Stormbox Blast. Uh, today, it's 23% off. It's 200 bucks. It's regular 260 and uh, this is like $100 more than the uh, than the um, uh, the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, but right now, it's only like $20 more compared to regular prices. So if you're looking for something that might be uh, – it's going to be louder than the uh, – than the uh than the motion boom plus because motion boom plus is only 80 watts uh so yeah i mean i'm definitely interested in this storm box blast i'm gonna mima's gonna be like you got too many speakers you got so many speakers 
um 40 and a 40 dollar off coupon today on that so the tribit storm thank you Ro rover thank you rover the tribit Stormbox blast bluetooth radio is available today for 200 dollars with a 40 dollar off coupon so that's actually going to make it cheaper than a full price motion boom plus today uh nice light show speakers look cool uh i like that it sounds really loud like distorting james's microphone i wonder how that translates out in real life i wonder i wonder how loud 90 watts of sound is over 80 watts of sound i'm gonna get one of these and then we'll do a comparison to them and and we'll see which one perform outperforms which one okay let's move on to the next product though today and that's going to be the nice day rowing machine it's uh 399.99 today that's 400 bucks and that's on deal it's 20 percent off of its regular 500 msrp so let's take a look at this rowing machine and uh yeah let's watch this video together Hey everyone, Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show you the nice day rowing machine for home use. This is a hyper quiet magnetic rower with 16 resistance levels. This is all the pieces and stuff that it comes with. You have all the tools necessary to assemble it. And it actually really did not take that long to assemble. I want to say it took me about 25, 30 minutes by myself. And as you can see, all the parts are super high quality, super easy to use and super easy to set up. Now, once I got it set up, this thing looked absolutely amazing. I love how comfortable the seat is and I absolutely love of how big the area for your feet are. Now you're going to see, I love my Crocs and I like to work out in my Crocs too. So the fact that I'm able to use this rowing machine while wearing my Crocs makes me absolutely ecstatic. E ecstatic. I mean, it is fantastic. This thing is so easy to use. Now I didn't have anyone to help me record. I didn't have my tripod on me. So you're going to see me kind of <laughs> pulling and struggling here with one hand. But I mean, this thing really is smooth. It's really fantastic. The knob to increase the resistance is really easy to use and it offers all sorts of analytics from the screen up here from your distance uh, to the, your calories to the time whatever you may want to check out and when you're done with it and ready to put it up all you have to do is pull out the pin unscrew it lift it up put the pin back in and then rescrew it and you are good for travel my mom is uh, here showing how easy it is to just unscrew this thing and get it set up and ready to go all she has to do is take this part out and lift it up and then once you do that, as I said before, you just reinsert the pin and then screw it in and you're good for storage. It's really easy to put up wherever you want it, you know, and when you're not using it and it doesn't take up much space at all. This is a fantastic rowing machine and I would highly recommend it to anyone who wants to up their rowing game and their home gym game. It looks pretty easy to move around on those wheels, and I like how it folds up and it doesn't have to disconnect. That's pretty great. The Nice Day Rowing Machine is available today for $400. It's regular $500, so so uh, definitely click through the carousel and heads up on this great deal with the Nice Day Rowing Machine. But we're going to keep it moving now with the Yosuda Pro cardio device here. This is going to be not on deal, unfortunately, but has a, a pretty good rating, even though it's not a lot of ratings 48 ratings giving it four and a half stars let's take a look at this this is going to be the yosuda pro cardio climber stepping elliptical machine okay let's watch this video together now what is up everyone jeff here and today i'm going to be unboxing assembling and using this yosuda elliptical climber let's see what's in the box and here we have the contents of the box. I was honestly expecting a lot more pieces than this, and everything was very well packaged. I will say it did take me about 15 to 30 minutes to unpackage everything and get it in this state, but once you get it out of the box, there's not that much. Let's put it all together now. Oh, what's up, Rising Sun? Thanks for popping in. We're almost done here. Quick. We're going to take a look. Assembly a was super products, and easy, then we're going to do a gift card every single giveaway. Step You're had its just in um, time. pieces up, laid B? out in the assembly instructions, which I thought was super cool. I do recommend two people for installation. It just makes it a little bit easier. And while this does come with everything you need to install it, if you have your own set of tools, that can also just help make things a little bit more ergonomically friendly as well. Total install time for me was about 45 minutes to an hour. Now, let's see what it looks like. Now, this is pretty cool. Everything is fully assembled, 
And there is an awesome digital readout up here that can tell you your heart rate, the time that you're going, the distance, the calories burned, your pace. It's pretty awesome. There are several modes you can also enter. Plus, you can control the uh, overall resistance of the machine with a simple turn of the button. This is excellent. It's nice, compact, and I like it a lot. Thanks for watching. Very cool. The Yosuda, the Yosuda elliptical machine is available today. It is actually the Yosuda Pro Cardio Climber Stepping elliptical machine. Okay, I want to tell you all those words about it. It's available today for five hundred and forty nine ninety nine. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, let's move on to our last product of the day here. This is going to be the Insta three hundred and sixty X three. We we'll grab this video up and uh, full screen it here, and then we're going to listen to. I think this is. I think this is Nate. I think this is going to be Nate. Let's listen to Nate talk to us about this, um, about this camera, and then we're going to do the gift card giveaway. Yo, what's going on, guys? Nate, Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, I'm going to be talking briefly about the Insta360 X3 action camera. This action camera is chock full of incredible features that I think even the most prolific athlete or somebody that already might use something along the lines of GoPro is going to really enjoy. Because of all the features in this, I am going to be doing probably two or three different videos. In this one today, what we're going to be talking about is the overall appearance of it and some of the things that it can do. On another video, what we will be doing is testing it out with a longboard and electric scooter. So we'll try it out. But just taking a look, you guys can see that it's a very simple design. It has a matte black texture to it, which like I I've said about previous products, whenever you have that matte black texture instead of a gloss black, it just makes it feel a little bit more premium, especially being that it doesn't attract fingerprints. So you guys are going to notice that right here, you do have two cameras. And the reason you have two cameras on this bad boy is because it is a 360 camera. So over here on the side, you are going to have your battery port. I'll show you guys how you get that out. So you simply just pull both of these in at the same time. And then once you do that, you're going to notice you have your battery right here. Now on the inside as well, you're going to have your micro SD card slot. Mine actually came with a 64 gigabyte micro SD. So that's really cool of them. Over here on the side, you are going to have your charging port, USB-C. Very nice that they use that because most of you probably have USB-C laying around. Now over here on the side, you're going to have your selector for your modes and your power button. So to get this powered up, just simply hold this down. You guys will notice a little blue light. Once you let go of that after a couple of seconds, you're going to notice that right there, it boots up. So you have a touchscreen interface on this, which just really makes this thing stand out, especially being that this is an action camera. You have a huge kind of almost viewfinder here in a way. So there's some things you can do inside of this that just really make this stand out to me whenever it comes to action cameras that I've tested in the past, that this does better. So you guys can see the viewfinder right here. We are currently recording at 5.7K, 30 frames per second. You can switch the camera simply by just doing that. You guys can see super wide view. Now, if we swipe down from the top, you're going to have a little quick access menu right here that's going to give you some controls that make it very easy to use. If we swipe over from the left, you guys can see that we have older videos that we have already recorded in the past. So if I go ahead and hit play here, you can actually kind of live view this in order to really see what's going on. So you guys can see super wide view, which is just, I mean, I just think that's really nice. Now you can go through here, you can delete it. Now there's also a ton of other things that you're able to do on the inside. So you have your little buttons right down here at the bottom. So if we push these, you guys can see that this bottom right button is actually gonna bring you back to the photos. But what I wanna do now is I wanna go ahead and swipe back over to the live view, swipe over to the right, and you're gonna have some image settings. So your white balance, you can set it to manual, you can do whatever you want on this thing, just makes it so dang nice. So overall, this thing looks promising and it seems like it's gonna have a ton of features. So if you guys are looking for an action camera that's gonna have everything you could want and then some, definitely check this out. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger, see you guys later. With four and a half stars, uh, with 500 reviews, the Insta360 X3 waterproof camera is available today for $535, okay? So that's great. We did all of our products today. We did them. It's 657. That means we did 20 products in two hours. That's amazing. I love reaching that goal. And now let's just slow it back a bit. We're done here with products. 
Let's talk about... Yo, what's going on, guys? Nate, you're hey, at It's enough of that, okay? Let's do this clown race. Let's do the clown race, and then maybe chill for a little bit. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready, Rover, when you're ready to send me that list of names. Rover's been our moderator taking names today. I think he said 20, 26 names. Oh, excuse me. 26 names, I think. Three shuffles. 77 seconds. Yeah, no problem. Okay, let me grab this list of names. I got a list of names that starts with Rover, excuse me, and ends with Rising Sun. Let me highlight that again. Uh, okay, I got that list, and then let's click over to my show here, and let's show my screen. Let's show my screen. That's what I want to do. Boom. And then let's go to Names and edit the list of names paste this let's remove that blank space okay yo check it out we got a list that starts with rover and ends in rising sun and it is 26 names so <clears throat> let's read these names out right now and let's start this race we got rover also we got tech girl bargains as well as randy dresden kmart kelly robin luker margaret Lori b shay lewis oh what's up shay i didn't see you in the chat earlier i see e and b uh cool shopper samantha guavaro evans ed s lydia c mark larock also jefe and Alyssa and leslie sheffield and woolrich is here also on the list, we're rounding it out with Stargazer, Jennifer Lude, Ray Ray Gumichan, Wiley S, Chucky, Bart, and Rising Sun. These are all the names. These are all the names. Yeah, absolutely, Lydia C. Everybody can thank Rover if they feel like it. Uh, he does such a great work. It saves us so much time at the end of the show. Because if he didn't, if Rover didn't do the roll call, then I would have to do the roll call. And then it would just be like taking so much more time. So I definitely appreciate you in a major, major way, Rover, for helping with the roll call. And with that, I don't see anybody spitting out any type of disagreement. So let's hit done here. And then what'd you say? You said three and 77. So we'll do 77 seconds and we'll set that time. And then we'll shuffle three times. One, two, three shuffles. And then let's turn this music way down. And uh, let's start the race. Oh, well, yeah. We started the race, but the race is going to be for first place to have a $5 Amazon gift card, okay? First place going to get $5 here. So thank you, everybody, for coming out and joining me here on Clown Live, this Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. I love live streaming. I love live streaming on Amazon Live. I love hanging out with all you guys uh, every day that you come and hang out with me. I appreciate the engagement in the chat. And if there's ever anything that you ever want to talk about uh, that you feel comfortable talking about with, I'm always, always prepared to engage with you outside of the concepts of products. Okay. Always happy to talk about anything. Products. Okay. We can go product hunting sometime if you want. And uh, yeah, I definitely want these clowns to run. Rover, you got a commanding first place lead with 20 seconds left. I mean, I got to respectfully say, obviously, if you get the W here, I'll be mad surprised, okay? I'll be mad surprised if you clench it because you just fell right off the screen, okay? But who's going to be the winner today with nine seconds left? Is it going to be Chucky? Will it be Tech Girl Bargains? Will it be Shay Lewis? Will it be Lori B? Is it going to be Shay Lewis? It's going to be Shay Lewis. Yo, congratulations, Shay Lewis. I'm sure you're here in the chat. Let me type the name in the chat because I know that's an important thing to do uh shay i'll just put shay that's good uh is shay here did i see shay in the chat yet i see shay in the chat yet did i see shay in the chat yet did i see shay in the chat did i see shay in the chat uh i don't i don't yet not quite yet i don't see yet i'm looking on my amazon side did we see the name did we see shay lewis claim already did we see her claim give it a minute we give it a minute it looks like 3 15 is the time to stop Oh, here, Shane Lewis, I see you now. I see you. I know there's a little bit of lag on the video, but I see you now. Congratulations on a $5 Amazon gift card win here on uh, Shopping Dragons. This is Clown Live, and uh, I'm so happy that you could be the winner today. Let me full stop the show, okay? Let me show myself and head over to Discord and let Justin know that, boom, boom. Let's just let him know that... Uh, Shay Lewis 
is January 3rd. It's already January 3rd. The year's passing so quickly. January 3rd, $5 winner. Okay, Shay Lewis is January 3rd, $5 winner. I'll send that message off now. Justin's got it. He's got the message. Look forward to getting that um, gift card, okay? Uh, and if you don't, let me know, and then we'll get it sorted. But Justin's really on top of all that. So congratulations again, Shay Lewis. That's not the button I wanted to press, but uh, it's all good. We'll stand up for the rest of the show. I don't mind. We're going to be leaving here in a couple seconds. Let's jump back, though, to the shot and see who placed where today. There's no other prizes to be had. Jay in first, Chucky in second, Tech Girl Bargains in third place. Mark LaRock, thank you for the follow. You came in fourth place today. Hopefully you'll get a win here soon. We do giveaways every day that we're live. Uh, Randy Dresden in fifth, Stargazer sixth. Excuse me. <clears throat> Neymar Kelly in tenth place. Rover 15th place today. You had too much of a lead. You gassed out. Jennifer Lude in 17th place. Jennifer Lude, weren't you in 17th place yesterday? I feel like that's an accurate statement. I feel like you've been twice 17th place recently. Hey, Ray Ray Gumi Chan in 19th place. Sorry I missed you today when you did the roll call. And uh, let's see who came in last place today. It was Bart. Bart in last place today. No problem. What is the max length of the hdmi cable that i need that's a complicated we can hang out and talk about a couple things here on the show but congratulations again to uh shay lewis who came in first place today for the five dollar amazon gift card giveaway uh that's it that's all she wrote that's all she wrote okay so we're done the show here i'm gonna chill for a few minutes and uh i'm just gonna hang out here for a few minutes and hang out um uh, the show is over it's 705 we're good to go Um, yeah, well, let's take a look at some other products. The show's over. I'm going to highlight some products in my carousel and stay live and talk about building the workstation and and uh, just stay live for a few minutes. So probably not more than 10 or 15 minutes. And uh, yeah, let me grab some pluggable products. Uh, I don't need the boxes. I just need the products. This is all I need, these two things here. Yeah, let's go back and talk about these products again today. Oh, you're welcome, Evans. You have a great day as well. We're just going to chill here and talk a little bit more. The show for what it's worth is over, and now this is just like after hour, after hours clowns, okay? Clown, uh, I don't know a good pun for after hour and clown. Clown, I can't do it. But after hour clown live, we're just going to hang out here for a little bit and talk about some products here um, that we've already talked about on today's show. So, yeah, when I'm building this base station, whoops, when I'm building this base station, I'm talking about this is my whole setup. Right now, I got my laptop on some janky cutoffs, okay, and I got my portable monitor set up here with the microphone in the middle. Um, and this is like, this is good, but it's not good enough because this is like almost like a, a permanent fixture. And the the white cable is my internet, leads off to the to the router, which is which is sitting on the speaker, routers on the speaker, modems on the speaker, and uh, I got one Cat5 that runs out here to the laptop. I tried to do the show over the Wi-Fi. I didn't try to do the show over the Wi-Fi. I accidentally tried to uh, – I, I accidentally went live without connecting the Cat5, and the show was a disaster. It looked really, really poor quality uh, image. So, yeah, so in regard to HDMI cables, I'm saying I'm going to get, like, a nice standing desk. I'm looking at standing desks. And uh, hold on a quick sec. Sorry for the quietness. I'm just uh, having a quick communication with uh, Justin and put the link in the chat. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll do that. Yo, let's take a look at some products that are not in my carousel here. Uh, I want to do this with you guys uh, if you want to hang out. Um, even if you don't want to hang out, I'm going to do it here right now. But uh, yeah, let me open up a new Amazon tab. Get rid of all these uh, videos for these other products here. 
and uh, let's open up a new Amazon tab. And uh, let's see. Let's go to my list. I got a list with some stuff on it that I that I'm kind of looking at. Uh, yeah, we can look. There's not a lot in this list. We can take a look at this entire list, and then I guess uh, when I show the products, I, I just got to put the link in the chat. Okay, so let's cut back to my screen then. Uh, long HDMI cable. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> the the way that URL looks makes me feel like I'm in grade four. <laughs> this is a very very simple Amazon URL. <laughs> simple Amazon URL. But yeah, I'm gonna show you a shopping list that I've made here. And uh, like a little wish list. I called it Shopping Dragons because it's all stuff that I'd like to add to my uh, to my arsenal. Well, add add Mima, add some stuff too. She wants some towels. But I did start adding some stuff. And look at this desk. I'm looking at this. Oh, I want to. Okay, let me open it in a new tab. Let me open this link in a new tab. And let me grab this link and put it in the chat immediately, okay? And I'm looking at this desk right now, and it looks nice. It's a little bit. It's unlike the shape of any desk that I've had. It's unlike the shape of any other desk that I have in the house. It's a little bit bigger. Um, where are we at? Here and here. Yeah. Look at this desk. This desk is $229.99 today. It has a $15 off coupon. And I love the black and the brown. And I think this is just kind of like, this is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm checking out. And so... I like the dark brown. I like how it looks like burnt. I like the black edges on this. Uh, the price point seems not so bad. And this has got the electric height adjustment. And it does have the wheels on it, which is really like what I'm really looking for. You know? Uh, look, it goes from 27 to 45 inches. So not as high as other desks. But, like, I got a, I got a, I got a measuring tape here. I got a measuring tape. I think the desk that I think the table that the that the uh, computer is on right now, the desk that the computer is on right now, uh, in its current position, I believe is like twenty eight inches. Let's take a quick measure here. Take a quick measure here. The desk that I'm sitting on right now to the floor is going to be twenty seven and a half inches. So that's not bad. 27 and a half inches here. Let's make me real big real quick. We can do it like this. <laughs> 27 and a half inches is the top of this portable desk. 27 and a half inches. So like a half inch down, I ain't even sweating a half an inch. And then it says it goes up to 45, 45 inches. This is 45 inches right here. This is 45 inches right here. Right at my thumb. Right where I'm pinching this tape. That's not bad. That's that's not bad. 45 inches straight out. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm really into this. It says that it's really quiet. I never had an electric desk before. Obviously, it being quiet is probably, you probably get annoyed if you had a loud desk, but I had never considered noise options. They're saying that this is uh, less than 50 decibels by 24 inch deep. This is 55 by 24. Yeah, this is 55 by 24. Uh, I have a 50-foot HDMI cable you can have. Well, the problem is I, I had my long HDMI cord plugged into the TV, and then uh, and then it just doesn't carry the signal. This is my long HDMI cord. It's plugged into the back of the television, and it stretches all the way across the room, so it's got to be like – it's got to be 10 feet. I think my room is 12 feet wide, so I got like a 10-foot cable. But I plug this into my HDMI port. And then, uh, and then it doesn't carry the signal across the room. The TV actually blinks the image. Like there's not enough power to carry the signal across the cable. So that's something that I struggle with, struggle with in regard to the TV. But in regard to the battle station, uh, this looks like the right move. This 55 inch desk looks like the like a really good move. I like that it has a few different. Uh, spots for memory and it has the wheels so the wheels actually are going to elevate the desk like that extra like two inches which uh i think is probably pretty cool i think that's probably pretty cool um i'm really feeling this desk uh, uh, seriously um i think i'm gonna get it i think i'm gonna get it i haven't been ready yet to make the buy but 
I think I will soon. I think I'm going to be ready to get this soon. And then, so now looking at the desk, okay, let's go back to my list here. Um, let's see. Does the printer have a Cat5 connection? I don't have any printers at the house. Oh, you're talking to uh, Stargazer? Sorry, my bad. I use a party table for my two monitors. Yeah, that's what I got back here. I got the white, you know, the use. Is there nothing special? It's just a picnic table. It's just the tables that we take to the barbecue. It's got a little white top, plastic top. <clears throat> but yeah, for the workstation though, I really, really want to get like a nice desk. I like this 24 by, let's go back to uh, bigger, bigger pictures. I like the 20, I like the 55 by 24 shot. Like, look, okay. Um, it's a little bit cluttered. Okay. So forgive the uh, clutter as always, but let me full screen myself here and show. Sorry, I haven't done that mistake in a while. Let me just grab my Obsbot, uh software and make sure that it's selected. Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, let me manually pan across the room here. So this is my current desk. This is the current desk. It's, uh, I think it's like, obviously it's mad old, okay? I've had this thing for a long, long time. And my friend had the desk at his house and it was his mom's and she was using it in like the nineties and stuff when we were in high school. And I'm like, I'm going to own this desk. I'll move the chair out of the way. Forget it. I'll do the whole thing. Or we can do whatever we want. The show's over. Um, I can't see myself, but I recognize I should be in pretty good should be in pretty good view there. I should be in pretty good view there. So I had this desk forever, but it's so big and like it's it's all like a million pieces. There used to be a center drawer here and it broke. So like there's no center drawer. It's all held together by gravity. Uh, and I love how big this desk is. OK, this desk is going to be uh, this desk is going to be uh, 50 inches. This is 50. The top of the table is 50 inches. <clears throat> uh, so 50, 50 by 32. So 50 by 32. And now I'm talking about getting uh, a 55 by 24. So it's going to be longer and, and narrower, which just seems like absolutely crazy but also extremely beneficial. Now, what I recognize about the desk that I want, this standing desk here being narrower. <clears throat> oh yeah, I left the show and I stopped sharing my screen. No problem. Now, what's crazy about this desk being narrower, okay, is that I do want to get the monitor stand. So let's go back to the list here. And uh, look, what do you think I should get? Should I get this? I was looking at plates to make sure that the desk was absolutely secure. Uh, here's dual monitors for up to 32 inches. And I was looking at Lamacall stands like Nate was showing on his stream for the laptop. Uh, and I'm looking at racks. I guess I didn't add the rack. I got to add some racks. I want to get some wire shelf line, uh, some wire shelves. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is dual monitors for up to 32 inches. Let me throw the link in the, uh, let me throw the link in the chat. Uh, okay, so this is uh, this is the dual monitor by Huanyu or whatever. Who, excuse me, Huano. And yeah, I was looking for monitor stands that held up to the largest monitors because it's better to have the big thing and not need it than to need it and not have it. So that's kind of what I was looking at. So what is your opinion? Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. Look though, Rover, your opinion I'm really interested in since you're since you're here doing this with me. What do you think is better here though? Do you think that this dual monitor stand connected to the desk? Where's the desk? Okay, let's put the desk first. Look at the desk. Okay. 
Look at the desk. And then look at how it has the monitor stand on it. Definitely saving some space with that monitor stand. Okay. But what should I get? Like, should I get the lap? Let me add this link too. Should I get this? Dual monitors up to 32 inches. And it also has the laptop, the laptop mount as well. I don't know, like, I, I don't know if I would exactly benefit from the laptop mount, but it seems like very, very cool. Look at how wide open that guy has his laptop. I never even considered even opening my laptop that much. Wow. Yeah, this seems like awesome, right? And when you have this monitor set up with what we got, we got it here in the carousel. We've got the, uh, the pluggable... Um, dual monitor setup you know whether we're talking about the pluggable usb 3.0 uh, to usb dual monitor this pushes out this will push out 4k to one screen and 1080p to another so if i'm just trying to do three 1080p screens like this sounds like a really easy option for that but then also we got the pluggable dock the laptop mount will not help that much in my opinion uh, I would want the laptop on the desk. Yeah, that's what I think too. Uh, I just added a bunch of really interesting looking stuff to my to my to my shopping list. But yeah, and then yeah, if I have just like a dual monitor setup, then I got this whole boy right here to handle everything that I need, right? So two monitors hooked up to this dual HDMI monitors. Like I don't think this is obviously designed for gaming or whatever, but like. I'm not, I don't, I'm not big on gaming. I'm not a big gamer is what I'm trying to say. So like, I'd like to maybe run this dock out to a dual monitor setup and then maybe, I don't know, like chain this up to it so that I could have a, a fourth monitor out to the television, you know, cause I really want, look at this workstation. Uh, even though we're looking at the laptop, even though we're looking at the laptop holding dual monitor, workstation i wonder i wonder how low you can put the the dual monitors do they sit can you move them really low so that they look like more profile with the desk or do they just stay up mad high do they just stay up mad high all the time because you're always going to mount your laptop underneath it i would want the laptop on the desk yeah okay well speaking about the laptop on the desk then i got more uh, look, there's a couple. Here's the Lamacall laptop stand. Here's the actual Lamacall stand that that Nate was talking about the other day. Uh, let's get the links in the chat. Now, what I like about this one that I'm going to share first is that it's it's uh, it's the same. Uh, it's not the same one that Nate was talking about, and it looks like it offers some adjust. Of, does it have a backside view? Yeah, we can take a look at the backside view of the uh, dual monitor laptop mount right now. Uh, but if it's okay before we do, I'm just saying there's this Lamacall adjustable laptop stand, and then I'll put the link for the other one in the chat here in a minute. Uh, where is it? I got my tabs all mixed up. This is the one Nate was showing. It's Amazon's choice. It's 26 bucks. I'll put the link in the chat about it right now. And uh, I was looking at this one, but it doesn't have like that adjustability factor the way that the one that I just put in uh, the chat previously seems to. This one here. I like I like the way that this looks. I like that it looks like it's a, it clearly is adjustable. You can see at the top hinge here, it's got a little foot to uh to not scratch the thing i like this one i like this one more than the than the more stationary one but yeah we can go back to that uh here's here's that mount pro monitor uh let's take a look at the pictures here together uh rover uh that one is simple the, the lamp yeah these are really simple and these are just good like i got mine sitting on two on two pieces of wood I've got mine sitting on two pieces of wood right now. Literally anything would be better. Look, I got the laptop sitting on two cutoff pieces of two by four. You know, that's my current setup. You know what I'm saying? And I got all these cables uh, in the side of the laptop using the port. I think this is going to be a big help for the workstation type stuff. Uh, but even still then, this is probably a really simple solution for the laptop to push out two 1080p uh, signals. But yeah, I guess I kind of want like a considerable like quad monitor 
quad monitor setup, I guess, is what you could describe it as. Because if I have the ability to control everything from the uh, computer, one second. If I have the ability to control everything that I want from the computer, like as far as monitors are concerned, I would have monitor one would be the laptop, right? And then monitor two and three would be monitor two and three on the desk, you know, when I get the workstation built. And then monitor four is just going to be throw something out to the TV, you know? I'd like to be able to do that. And I think that the included, I think that the 3050 will handle that just fine. Three 1080p monitors and a 4k monitor i think that would be not too hard on the gpu um, i bought a tray that you can use on the desk table bed floor it also has two drawers underneath in a spot for you to place your cell phone tablet and it also has a book holder it's nice yo well go ahead and post the if you have the link or the asin uh put it in the chat and then we'll take a look at it right now and we can look at it together but yeah, going back real quick, if Jennifer doesn't put that link in the chat or whatever, then yeah. So I'm looking at laptop stands. Okay. I'm looking at laptop stands. I'm looking at monitor mounts. And even though I don't have two 32 inch monitor mounts, uh, excuse me, even though I don't own two 32 inch monitors, I think that it is like, uh, I think I know that I feel extremely confident in saying that in 2023, uh, continuing the Amazon live streams, I'm going to continue to want to put some effort into making my battle station as functional uh, as I have the ability to be, you know? So maybe I don't have two 32 inch monitors now, but I'd like a nice, uh, I'd like a nice bracket that offers that uh, option. You know what I'm saying? 90 degree tilt. Yeah, the laptop thing, maybe, I don't know. It probably is a bit much. And looking at this picture, you can really see, like, those arms don't look like they go down too low. I'll make a simple picture for using a one-to-one -one for laptop holder. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's the link? That's the link? Okay, let me get the link from you, Jennifer. And uh, let me check it. Let me check it. Let me check it. Let me check this link. That is not the link. Sorry, I grabbed the wrong link. It's a website. Oh, wow. That's crazy. You have one of these? You said you bought this? I bought a tray that you can use on the desk, the table, the bed, the floor. It has two drawers underneath it and a spot for you to place your cell phone and tablet. And it also has a book holder. It's nice. This looks nice. Let me also share the link in the chat just to be extra sure that uh, that we got it going. I know that I can just inside I can talk about whatever I want, but I just have to make sure that I share the link in the chat about it. Oh, we're not looking at it yet? Sorry. Here we go. There we go. The, you got this. This is cool. This is really big too. Good for your book. Does it come with the book thing? Does it come with the book thing? I don't read, but the book thing is pretty cool. Uh, it's got a nice big pad for all your things. I wonder how big that laptop is. Oh, and then this is a picture of it folded up underneath. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, let's take a look at this. This is the uh, Saiji laptop bed tray table. This looks really cool, actually. <clears throat> but this is not this is not what I'm looking for in regard to like the battle station. Obviously, I think you recognize that. So it's got a couple different adjustabilities. That's pretty cool, like uh, angle adjustments. This is nice. This is nice. This is 92 bucks right now, not on deal. I like that you can put it in bed. I'd never leave the room. I better not get one of these. Laptop stopper. Oh, it does come with the book thing. Yo, that's cool, man. I like this. And it comes with a little storage drawer for your phone so that it doesn't slide off. Yo, this is really cool. This is really cool. And uh, how does it feel? For 100 bucks? I'm sure it doesn't feel like too cheap. It's got a four star, 4.7 stars out of five. So it's got a five star view with 11,000 ratings. Let's take a look at some Amazon pictures here. Oh, you can do uh, 
quilts, on, not quilt, but uh, cross stitching on it if you want. Uh, let's view the image gallery. Oh, come on. We got to. Oh, my goodness. Amazon leaves some things to be desired. Oh, we can hover zoom. Nice. Okay, cool. Hey, that's big. I mean, I got. I got a laptop that big. It's like good for a 15.6 inch laptop. And I could get a little Lamical stand and put the monitor on it. This is essentially what I have now. But I do like my laptops elevated so that there's air that passes underneath it. And this doesn't look like it offers that, which is fine. Obviously, it's made for beds and stuff. But I, I think that like for laptop stuff, I, I would want it elevated a little bit more. This is really cool. You can put your cat on it. You can put your cat under it. Oh, man. This does everything. Now, this is a really big laptop on this stand, isn't it? This must be like a 17-inch laptop. How big was the dimensions of the device again? It was, uh, let's go to the top here. It was, um, let's look at these pictures. It's 60 centimeters wide. So that's pretty cool. It's almost two feet wide, 23.6 inches, uh, 17 centimeters deep. Yo, this is cool. I like this thing. You got me, you got me hooked on this. It goes up higher than that. Yo, let's scroll down and see. Uh, they had a comparison chart. Let's see some other ones. So this one is 92 bucks and all the other ones are cheaper in price, but they look virtually identical, maybe a little smaller. Who knows? Oh, here's the sizes nine by six by four. I don't understand the dimensions. I don't understand the dimensions. This is definitely ultra fresh. I like this. It's not something that I need for my battle station, but I really, really enjoy this. This is like the new wave TV dinner trays like that you serve breakfast on. You don't even need it for electronics. Literally just put food on it in bed. It's a dang table. It's literally just a dang table. Yo, I like this. I like this. Thank you for sharing this with us, Jennifer Lude. Uh, I'm going to add that to uh, my wish list so that I don't forget about it. Oh, I didn't want to zoom in. Thank you. Um, okay, let me add this to my wish list. Yo, that's fresh. Thank you for sharing. That. Paid $69 for it before Christmas. Yo, it's like $95 now. You're going to make me mess around and wait until it goes on sale. Okay, so yeah, but I think that's pretty much it. It's 7.30. Uh, we did the show. We've been done for a while. Let's just take a look again at these products that I was talking about at the end of the show. So these are some things that I've been looking at. I've been looking at this dual arm, third for dual 32-inch monitor arm. Uh, this is looking like something that might be the right move. I'm not sure yet, but I'd rather have the big one than not have it. And yeah, I think you kind of talked me out of the laptop dual monitor mount i don't think that this is the right one for me rover uh looking at this th this thing looks definitely cool this thing looks ultra cool that is undeniable but maybe this isn't what i need now what else do we got here oh yeah this uh this rad love desk looks really cool i love the black and the and the brown i love how it looks burnt i really want that monitor mount because like i said my old desk is 32 inches but most of the back end of the desk is eaten up by monitors, right? So if I eliminate two stands and recess the monitors further back, then I'm kind of like not really losing any space at all. You know what I mean? So that seems exceptionally interesting to me. Uh, I'm down with this desk. I'm down with this desk. I think this is going to be the desk that I get. Um I think it's going to be the desk that I get. And I'm going to get it on the wheels. Let's take one more picture, uh, one more look at the picture of the wheels. Look at this. Uh, you can have the non-slip foot pad or you can have the lockable wheels. Now, admittedly, I'll just say these look like cheap office chair wheels. Uh, I don't know. I don't know everything about wheels, but these are like the little dually office chair wheels. And, uh, like I'm kind of more interested, like I'm going to probably buy this desk and check out these wheels 
And then if they're no good, like if it's not what I'm looking for, then I know that you can get like caster wheels made for desks and stuff. And they were like 29 bucks or something. Maybe I should check my browsing history. But yeah, like even like these roller ba blade looking style wheels are just fine. Like something like this. Because I got the vinyl floor and like I just don't want to tear the vinyl floor up. This is obviously overkill. This is not what I'm looking at. But yeah, like just something like these roller blade wheels. Something that's not going to constantly be rolling uh, like, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say about the... Uh, about it but yo that's the show we're done we're done here let's take a look at the desk one more time because i'm like daydreaming i think i'm gonna get the lamical stand that is adjustable i think i'm gonna get this stand i think i'm gonna get this desk where'd the desk go uh i know oh, it's back here i don't know i don't know where the desk went probably on this yeah so maybe this desk looks real good. Maybe this adjustable laptop stand is going to be the right move. Maybe not this one. Let's close that. Uh, maybe not this triple mount. Uh, maybe just this dual monitor mount. Maybe this, maybe this is what I need. Now look how high those monitors sit. Do I like that? Stronger than you think. I'd want it to be pretty strong. Uh, stackable. Oh, you can stack up to two 27-inch monitors. Now, that's really cool. Now, I've done dual monitors pretty much my entire life that I've had the ability to, and I never stacked. Does anybody here stack them? I would get the one the showing the only the 17-inch foot pad. Which one is showing the 17-inch foot pad? I, I wasn't paying close enough attention to the chat. They're supposed to be up higher, not looking straight down. Uh, this is my laptop on two by fours. My 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 uh, webcam's ultra high though. Here, let's take a look at me real quick. The webcam's ultra high, but with the battle station, what I'm trying to figure out is that lower right to sit at, obviously, and then standing height to stand at. I hope that I can mount the camera onto the battle station and then just have everything roll into place. That's kind of like the goal that I'm trying to get with the with the with the battle station because like I'm a little limited on space and so if I could securely attach the camera to the webcam, uh, excuse me, let me say that again. If I could securely attach the webcam to the monitor or have it securely attached to the desk, then that is like a large tripod that I don't have to set up every day and I can just keep the settings good every day I got to set the table up every day I set up the camera so we just get like the slightest the slightest like you don't see it but like I see the tv I see that I don't see the tv gap today usually we have a gap in the tv usually it's a little bit wider over here at the flag there's a little bit it's a little bit it's pixels it's pixels that we're talking about here uh, but I set it up every day. And I think that if I had the rolling desk, then I could just put a couple markers on the floor, set my camera where I need it to be, and then just roll the desk into place. And also, like, look, I got my hands straight out. Here's my hands at eye level. Here's my hands down, 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 touching the laptop. The laptop is so far down. That's why I never interact with the chat. Every time I'm talking to you guys, um, every time I'm talking to you guys and talking about prices, I'm always looking over here at the iPhone. It's, it's looking so small and hard to read. I want like, I want to have a double, I want the monitors to be set up right at eye level with the camera doing the, the best shot that I think is acceptable for the show. <clears throat> and then I want that Amazon chat right in front of the camera. I want Amazon chat right under the camera. So that when I'm looking at the camera, I'm also looking at you, the chat. I don't want to look down here at the chat and then cycle through five minutes of comments. Maybe I will miss comments as they come through while it's still directly right in front of my face. But when I'm talking, I'm talking to the camera and all my stuff is way low down here. So imagine, what was, what was the desk? 45 inches plus two inch casters, 47 inches. 47 inches is an inch off of four feet. That's right here. 47 inches is right here. 
Plus, you got monitor mount arms on everything, right? So maybe max height. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm having fun daydreaming right now about the battle station, and I've got to stop. I've got to stop having fun, okay? Because I don't have the parts, and all I do is just wish that I did. All I do is wish that I did have the parts, and uh, I don't right now. So I'm kind of like. I'm having a really good time brainstorming with y'all about what you think I should do and what I shouldn't do. But yeah, I'm feeling the desk. I'm feeling the desk is going to be the next big thing. And the monitors can turn and stuff 180 degrees. I never had a monitor mount that allowed me to quickly adjust my monitors. I'm choosing landscape. Excuse me. I'm choosing landscape. Pardon me again. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, I'm choosing landscape. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. Yes, they're supposed to be up higher. Look straight, not down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. All right. Well, y'all give me a lot to think about. I did remove that trip, that dual monitor with laptop stand. Uh, I guess that's not the move. That's not the move. And, uh, yeah, this is where I'm at. This is where I'm at. I'm going to get a new battle station, and it's going to look like this. I'm going to get this desk, I think, because all the other colors, there's other colors, but they're a little more money. Like, I'm not a big fan of the white. The white is $10 more. I don't really like the white. It's a little too um, sterile. The white is a little too sterile for me, okay? It's not the price point. And then what else do they got? See, now they got this nice kind of like L-shaped boy, and this is like $40 more. This is 59 inches. Uh, I don't think that I need this. I don't think I need this. And then here's the white version again, which again, I'm not a big, big fan of. Oh, wow. This looks really nice. This looks really nice. But do I need this much space? I don't think so. Like I would go with Huano dual monitor stand, electric height, adjustable standing desk, laptop, bed, trays, SLG, adjustable. Um, let's see. Let's see what you think. Let's see what you think again. Uh, not the Lamical stand. Oh, we weren't talking about laptops. Um, let's go back to the original desk. And that's this bad boy for 300 bucks. Uh, yeah, black, black and brown. Is this the desk? Oh, this is sick. Oh, shoot. This is the bigger version of the desk. Where's the smaller version that I was just looking at? What happened to the desk that I was just looking at? I'm going to have to click back. Yo, look at this huge desk. This is 63 by 30. Now, that is a nice desk. And it's only $300. It's only $70 more than the other desk. Look at this. But do I need that much space? I feel like I would love to have that much space. But I also feel like I know myself and that if I had that much space, I would probably like clutter some stuff on the desk. And another thing is this, right? Like I'm talking about these these desks. Let me get the um, let me go to my browsing history so that we can go back to our uh, so that we can go back to our uh, original desk here. And that's going to be this one. It's going to be this one right here. Um, the yeah. The, uh, the do, do, do. yeah, I'm gonna open it right now. I'm gonna open your thing right now. Bo nine C five D seven. Yeah, okay, we're looking at this desk. Um, yeah, we're looking at this desk. We got the same A I A S I N. Okay, this desk does look nice. It's two hundred and thirty bucks. It's fifty five by twenty four. And I'm saying I know myself that if I had a bigger desk, I would probably like you know mess it up, and I would probably put like some clutter on it that I don't need. So I feel like if I force my hand and get what is like the smaller desk, if I get the smaller desk, then there's less chance for clutter. And furthermore, I want to put the workstation like out back. I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be with it. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be further back away from me holding everything. And then I've got my, my desk here that I'm banging on with my fingers. I can get it back into the show. And then I can put the box on the table and, and do all that. You know, I always wanted to have the blue cloth covered table forever in the show. But since I got the laptop and the external monitor, it's just, it's just taken over everything. You know, it's taken over all of my, uh, 
all of my space. Yo, let me check these other links that you're sharing. I know they're ones that I shared. And uh, yeah, I'll see what you're saying. Okay. So the desk. We'll open the desk. Open it again. Yes. Okay. I got the desk. Let's open also the other ones that you're saying. Let's go to this. Yeah. Okay. I got you. So you're saying get this desk and get this monitor uh, holder. And then uh, what's the other link you're showing? You want to show another link? Yeah. We'll take a look at one more link here and then we're going to get going out of this show. Uh, I'm getting ready to do that. Okay. Let me right click and go to. Uh, yeah, uh, if I had the room and the money. So the last link that you shared with me was the uh, was the tray that, that Jennifer Lude shared with us, and that's the link that you wanted to share. These are three nice, really nice products. Look, uh, what do we got here? Oh, and the Lamacall tray, the Lamacall laptop stand. I want that as well. So I'm thinking this Lamacall laptop stand, the adjustable one, the desk, the smaller desk, so that I don't get it all cluttered full of stuff. Because that 63 by 30 desk, whoo, that 63 by 30 desk looked nice. I don't even know where it was. I'm going to have to open that up again in a, in a new tab. And it's, all, it's only $70 more for that giant desk. But I don't know. I don't know. Does that giant desk come with wheels? Or the laptop stand Nate showed. Yeah, the laptop stand that Nate showed was a Lamacall laptop stand. And that's the exact same brand as this laptop stand that we're showing here. It's just uh, the one that Nate showed was like solid in design. Well, this one has some adjustability features. Keep it simple. Yeah, I know. I know. I think I am keeping it simple. I think I'm keeping it simple by getting the desk and the monitor stand and a laptop stand and just understanding that that's that surface area exists for a workstation maybe you could put like one funko pop or one collectible on it or something for personalization purposes but the big desk that we were taking measurements of my classic desk like that's that's our everything desk that's the everything table we before I got the laptop and was on the laptop all the time, my computer desk was the main desk. I sat there every day and watched videos every day. I sat there every day. Mima and I ate food at that desk every day. So that is actually another thing that I'm trying to figure out because we're essentially, once we get, once I get this computer desk, I'm going to get rid of this old desk. It's time to go, you know, time to upward and onward. Uh, in 2023 and breathe new fresh air into material possessions and liquidate old stock to make way for new products. And so with that established, I'm saying when I get rid of that old desk, then when I get rid of that old desk, then we have no dining room table. And both Mima and I mutually consensually agree that we don't want a dining table in the house. We don't want to have a dining table because there's not a lot of room to work with in the house. So we both designed, like we figured that like we wouldn't have a problem eating off the couch, like eating at the couch, you know, I wouldn't have a problem eating at the couch. But the thing about the couch is we don't have a table we're going to be like eating forward like this all the time, like savages, because our coffee table is flat and low pro. You know what I'm saying? So I want to get like, uh, I like glass top tables. I haven't looked into tables yet, but I got these. I got these boys. I got two of them and they're good to hold the TV up. Right. And then, uh, and then the table, the dining room table it matches. The dining room table is also Ikea, or sorry, not dining room table, the living room table here that we have, our coffee table, is uh, matching this exactly. It's the big version of it. <clears throat> but I don't have a problem to get rid of that. I'm just saying I like glass tops, and I want to get like a table. You know the tables that um, they're coffee tables, and then you press it, and it like pops up a little bit so that you could literally sit there and eat dinner at the couch? but it's the whole coffee table. It's one big unit. You're not like bringing in smaller coffee tables 
exclusively for the like TV dinner tray. I don't want a TV dinner tray. I want a coffee table that pops up into uh, glass top tables that are expensive. Well, you know what? Uh, as long as it don't break, it's a good investment. I've always, always been glass top. Uh, every opportunity that I get to do glass top, I do. I'll show you my other table real quick. Uh, we'll go like that. Um, yeah, I got to move the chair. Um, you know what, actually I got a big mess on the table and I don't feel like cleaning it to show you a table that isn't even in my carousel, but be rest assured. Okay. That the, the dining, the, the, the living room table looks as big as these, uh, looks exactly like these with this wood color, these silver spacers and the glass tops. But what I love about the two individual tables here for the TV is now I can get any TV size I want and I never have to worry about, uh, like an entertainment center and I got my receiver and my big sub underneath the uh, TV as well. So I'm a big fan of that, but that has nothing to do with the, with the other thing. I want a table that we can push up. And if it's a glass top that I can push up, that would be pretty cool. I'm gonna have to look into that and see if it exists. But yo, that's it. We're done. I'm done on the show here. We finished at seven o'clock today, everything we needed to do. And we stayed for another 50 minutes chilling. I'm glad that I could share with you some ideas that I've had in regard to the workstation that I want to build. I haven't absolutely finalized my decision yet that these are the items that I want to get, but I just went through it and looked at the things and I thought, well, this is probably right. This could be the right move. So I don't know. I don't know. I think that's right. The laptop stand, the monitor, um, the monitor uh, mount and the desk. Right. Those three things I think are going to be a real big get uh, for the show. And then there's some other stuff I wanted to show, but we'll talk about that another time. Just wire racks. I want to get some nice, simple shelving units in the house and redo all the living room so that it looks more industrial <laughs> for the show. But that's it. Thanks, Blake. You have a great night. And for everyone else that stayed. Yeah, absolutely. To the 10 people that are just watching on mute, thank you for hanging out with me. Jennifer Lude, I saw you. Uh, Rising Sun and Jennifer Lude and uh, me and Rover. Obviously, you're here with me right now. I, I recognize that. And Stargazer 34 minutes ago. Okay. So thanks to the people that watch. We're going to end the show now. I'm about to hit end stream. Check this out, though. Tomorrow on Wednesday, January 4th, 2023 at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Clown Live will be back, okay? I'm going to come back. I'm going to do another episode on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to give away a gift card again. We're going to talk about some products. Maybe we'll do an extended show. Maybe I'll do some window shopping on Amazon tonight and figure out what is the right stuff to uh, to add to my arsenal for, the, for a really powerful battle station. But yeah, Rover, real quick, I think that the pluggable, once I get the dual monitor set up, this is going to be great, right? Just set the laptop on the Lamacall stand, one USB cable, plug it into the laptop, and now I'm running everything that I need, one cable solution. This is going to be a game changer. Okay, that's it. I'm hitting end stream. Don't forget to join us. Oh, Stargazer, thanks for listening to us. Um, I love you. Okay, thank you so much, though, everybody, for watching who stuck around for the whole show. We're going to hit end stream now, and I will see you all in the chats tonight and in the streams tomorrow, okay? So everybody have a good night, and I'll see you the next time that I do. Bye, everybody.